Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us have a great time again. I noticed in the text, in the chat, people are a rush, you know, where are you? And the other person says, oh, stay, sister, don't leave. He will be here soon. My friend, you stay, you don't stay, who care? We are not here working for you as a restaurant waitress or waiter. People who they are looking for the truth, if they don't have a patient to stay for a minute or two or three or five, they have no patient to wait for Christ. So we don't care who stay, we don't care who leave, we don't care who believe, we don't care who don't believe, for this is it is your salvation, not mine. For us, we care to share the truth, and the truth will set you free. So if you are an idiot, you are an idiot. Oh, I, I cannot make you not an idiot. This is your choice. And people in life, they make a choice. And you make your own. So today we have in front of us a bunch of Abdul, and they are speaking supposedly to a Christian. And, you know, as usual, you know, the, the Muslims are very well trained to attack Christianity because this is what Islam is about. From the beginning, from the first day Muhammad of his life, he's attacking the Christians because those are the ones who get him busted. So they come to a Christian who knows nothing really about Islam. And he obviously, he did not even know anything about the Bible. Like this idiot here, who supposedly is a Christian, they ask him, uh, Jesus, he spoke in Aramaic. And uh, and then he said to them, yeah, we don't have a Bible in Aramaic. <laughs> and supposedly he's smart. <laughs> yes, we have the Bible in Aramaic, you idiot. And not only that, not only in the New Testament, even in the Old Testament. So, you know, this is what happened when what Muslim they do. They go and they walk in the street and they speak to a bunch of ignorant and they only capture the one who look like a fool. If somebody is smart, he busts them they will not pause the video. So the first thing you do when you encounter Abdul, you turn your camera to. And you will see right away how they will stay away from you. Because they knew you are, you are recording why, you know? You are going to use it, right? And they don't want that. They want only them to record you so they can use you or as ignorant. Now, you know, as usual, we are going to go live in Skype, and anyone would like to call us is free to call. And you know, if the Muslims can really, uh, they can prove what, they're, what they say, their point that they knew more about Christianity from Christians. Well, we are here. I like to hear the Muslims tell me how they knew and what they knew about Christianity. As I know, you know, like in this uh, uh, question here, the Abdul, he said to him, there is a human they are timbering in the Bible. But, you know, if a Christian, he have little education, he will know, he will say to them, but isn't it according to Islam, the Bible is the book of Allah. So how you can temper the book of Allah? That alone is enough to prove that your God cannot be God. Especially the city Allah, Aka Muhammad, in the Quran, he said, لا مبدل الله. Nobody can exchange the word of Allah. Nobody can play with the word of Allah. So when a Muslim, he go around speaking about changing the Bible, he is, any Christian have little education, little, little, tiny. You know, when you go in the street and you are willing to argue and debate with people, either you are educated or you are a donkey. So if you are a donkey, why you go in the street? How a donkey can bring people to Jesus? You are a donkey yourself. I know my language is harsh, but this is how I can describe those who have no education in Christianity and yet they claim to be Christians. So the Muslim, they knew nothing about Christianity. Zero. And we will prove it today. And any Muslim can contact us and we will see. But if we go in the Quran, we will see that Allah, Aka Muhammad, you know, he claimed that the Injil which is the Greek word, you know, the Greek book of the gospel. Uh, and this is telling you that Muhammad, you do not know what Christianity is about. You know, in one hand, the Muslim, in the same video, they were saying that Jesus speak Aramaic, and then you, you, their stupid book says that Jesus, he speak a Greek. 
In fact, he never spoke any language except Greek according to according to Quran. It's in front of you. This is the word Injil, and you can go check out what the word Injil uh, is about. Where is coming from? This is the Injil all over the Quran. All those verses mentioned Injil, Injil, Injil. But the most important thing is to make it simple. Chapter three, verse number three. Chapter three, verse number forty-eight says that Allah He sent the book, which is the Quran, confirming the Injil, which between our hands. And you see, the Muslims in translation, they lie. As an example here, they say, uh, confirming what went before it. That is a big fat lie. And the funny is, in the same video, this Abdul was saying to the Christians, you know, there is a lot of meaning is lost in the translation. Look who is talking. He was speaking, you know, against the Bible saying a lot of meaning can be lost in translation. By the way, this is kind of, I mean, it's true. I mean, translation will never give up an exact perfect unless the, the guy who is translating is like really so powerful in both languages. But here an example of how the Muslim, they timber their book in purpose. Because when the Quran says between his hands in Arabic, and then you look in the in translation one by one, you will not find any of them saying between his hands. None. Baina being me between, yadayhi, his hands. So how between his hands become what went before it? I mean, even the is, is even the words are close to each other. Do you think this is happening by mistake? No, they do it in purpose because how they can attack the Bible now if the Quran is being stupid, saying confirming the book between our hands. Do you understand why they change it? How the stupid Quran says confirming what is between between physically hands not in their head not in their heart we are talking about a physical book and the muslims they will target always the ignorant one of you for ignorant is easy hunt you know the game of the wolf and the sheep you see the Lord he says you will be like sheep but he did not mean literally you will be a sheep the sheep is about being uh, honest you don't have evil in your heart you are not going to prey on others you don't pray but he never said you will be stupid he never said I will send you to be stupid between mankind And now if we ask the Muslims, and you know, before I come like online, you will see many Muslim posting in the, in the, in the chat, like one of them, his name is Baal. I mean, he, you chose the perfect name for yourself. Your God, Allah, he can put himself with Baal. And this is telling me, who is Allah? I mean, what kind of God he compete with the pagan God? He says, I am better than Baal. <laughs> If we copy this, uh, just to show you how the Muslim, they temper their own book, which is now we have, by the way, no Muslim have the Quran. So the Muslim, they keep saying to you, we have the Quran, memorize the Quran. That is a big fat lie. There's many versions of the Quran, not translation. Remember, there's like a Muslim will say to you, uh, the version of uh, uh, ver uh, like uh, King James version. But this is just a translation. This is not the original book. The Quran itself, the Muslim they have, they have tons of them in Arabic, not translation. And there's many versions of it, not translation. And all of them, none of them is original. Not even one. And if there's a Muhammad and he can prove me wrong, I will be happy to hear it. My Skype is open. Let us copy this in the front of your eyes. Just to show you how they lie. You know, uh, one of the comments always we say about Islam, without lies, Islam dies. It's true. 
Let me paste the sentence as it is in front of you. Do you see it? What the translation is? Between his hands. In his hands. This is just a stupid Google translation. So why in the Muslim Quran translation they don't say that? Somebody's saying they are forced to lie. No, my friend, nobody is forcing them to lie. That is not a good statement. Muslims are not forced to lie. Muslims, they choose to lie because Islam itself is based on deception. Isn't it? Allah is the best of deceivers. They did not. They are not forced to lie. Why you, why you say so? You know, actually, when you say uh, they are forced to lie, that means they are victims. Well, it is not, you know, we force, so somebody force us. No. This is Islam. This is the cheese of Islam. Lying is the cheese of Islam. An honest Muslim is cannot or cannot be found unless between Taliban or the pimp house of Andrew Tate, who said only Muslims are Taliban. He was honest. You know, when the Muslims are in a Muslim land uh, and they are the one in control, they say, yeah, the Prophet says, kill you all. Yeah, what you what you can do about it? So they are not forced to lie in the West. No, they choose to lie because they are cowards. Taqiyya, it's called Taqiyya, chapter 3, verse number 28. So this is not because they are forced. This is because they are following a false god, false prophet. Now, who is a Muslim can tell me why all Muslim translation did not say between his hands? Who is the one is tempering the book of Allah? Why the book of Allah in Arabic says between his hands and the Muslim translation, we cannot find between his hands. Anyone? My Skype is open. Let us see how much the Muhammadan they knew about Christianity. And let us see why we laugh at Islam. Any Muslim want to volunteer to show us that you Muslims know anything about Christianity? Huh? Any Muslim have the courage to share with us what Muslims knows about Christianity. You know nothing. You don't even know what Allah means. You don't know even what this guy Isa mean. According to Islam, Isa is the cousin. Uh, sorry, he is uh, the, nep the nephew, the nephew of Aaron. And his mother, she is the daughter of Amran, which is the father of Moses. According to Muslims, Jesus, his language is Aramaic, but he was sent to the Jews. He was sent to the Jews, but he is speaking only Aramaic. Jesus speaks many languages. Muhammad don't even speak his own. That's why the Quran is messed up. And even the Muslim, they say Muhammad cannot even read and write. Which is really more stupid statement to prove to me that he's a prophet. So the God who chose an ignorant idiot to teach us. You know, like I saw in the news that Kim Kardashian, she gave a, gave a lecturer in Harvard University. I mean, this is what the world is today. A pimp like Andrew Tate, he opened a university. Kim Kardashian, I know you know who is she, you know. I mean, you, I, you don't need my introduction. She is doing a lecturer in Harvard University. And who is next? Who is the highest education in the world? Prophet Muhammad, who cannot read his name. 
I mean, this is the world we are living in today. Literally. I mean, have, have you ever heard of somebody who don't have high school, he opened university? And millions of people join to learn from him how to be a pimp. And this is Muhammad. He will teach you how to be a pimp. Prove me wrong. Actually, he have a chapter about it in the Quran. It's speaking about it's legal to be a pimp in, the, in, in Islam. Just do it according to regulation. Uh, Jason, uh, you know, I like it when the Muslim, they use, uh, uh, they use, uh, uh, like non-Muslim names. So the, guy, the Abdul Muhammad now, his name is Jason. Okay. Uh, hey, Jason, how are you? Okay. Why you don't call me and tell me what the words mean? And we will open the dictionary. Look, this, this, this Muhammadan, this Muhammad, he said, huh, oh, Christian Prince, using Google translation is complete fallacy. That is like using Google Translation to translate it from English to Arabic to pick up someone's brain. That's deep. As long as this is a fallacy, what about you call me? Get me busted. I have 100,000 something subscribers. You will get me busted in the front of them. And then you can download the video, my brother. And you can post it in your channel and get me busted. What say you? Golden offer. Hey, Muhammad, are you there? What's up? Who wanna call me live on air and get me busted that what I showed in Google translation is a false translation? In fact, yes, it's not accurate because it says in Google, it says in his hand. I mean between his hands. All the classical Arabic dictionaries confirm the translation in the Quran. Its mean was before it. What about you call me and show me? This is my challenge for you to show me the dictionary. It, it, it translates in this as you said. Is that fair, people? So either you are making a diarrhea poo-poo and you have the fan is on next to your bum. And now the poopoo is all over your ceiling, your window, your wife, your kids. Or you be a man and you call me and make the challenge happen. Can you? What is making you hesitating from proving your point? It's just a dictionary. As you said, we open dictionary life on air, me and you. I mean, guys, this is not a chemistry. Huh? It's a dictionary. I will open the dictionary, right? And not only that, I will not. You, you tell me the name of the dictionary and I will open it. Do you dare? Or it was just a diarrhea like your prophet when he received the chapter of Al-Fatiha. He was doing poo-poo and the angel could not wait until he finished it, and then he said to him, Oh, Muhammad, and Muhammad, he flee, and he spent between his legs. So are you going to do the same? Open up lens accent. This is not an Arabic dictionary, you idiot. Arabic dictionary is Arabic dictionary. This is English dictionary. <laughs> anyway, you know what? Call me and open whatever you want. <laughs> okay you know what I am going to do this I'm going to copy the word yadayhi in the front of us as it is what do you think guys that's a good idea and I will paste in the search engine and let us see how the word appear in the Quran if Jason Muhammad you know the Arab boy who don't speak Arabic and want to teach me Arabic if he is telling the truth then we will see it says uh, you know what went before it okay uh-huh yeah all right uh -huh. 
بَيْنَ يَدَيْهَا This is for female, so we make it ha. For male, he. But it's the same word. Chapter 2, verse number 66. Okay. All right. Even here, actually, the word is gone. Look, I mean, but what kind of translation? It says, <laughs> In translation here, it says what? <laughs> so we made this punishment example of their own succeeding generation and listen to those who... The word hands is gone at all. I mean, the whole thing is not there. Let us see different translation. Just This is Hilali Khan. <laughs> Let us see Arbery. Muhammad Arbery, peace be upon him. Okay, Arbari, how are you? Let us Arbar with us. I think this guy from Pakistan. Oh, look at this. And we made punishment exemplary for the former times. What the heck? What the word? Where is the word hands? It's gone. Let us see the front war, Arbari. Okay, let us see. Uh, uh, Hamza Raza Khan. <laughs> Even the names are weird. <laughs> so made in this incident of the town, uh -huh, a warning surrounding town. What the heck is that? They changed the word. But we can copy the word and put it in the dictionary, and right away we'll see what they're meaning. You see? This is how you temper the book. Let us continue. فَوَيْلٌ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِأَيْدِيهِمْ Ah, okay, their hands. Let us see. Maybe here we will hit the jackpot. Okay. Ooh, we have hands here. What the heck? They write the book with their hands that the Muslims. Because the Muslim, they wrote the book by their hands. It's not even by the hand of Muhammad. And not even in the time of Muhammad. And even the Muslims is the first one who burned the Quran. But do you see what they, yeah, you know, their hands, you see it, the same word. It's in the front of us. B-A-D him, which means by, A-D him. There are many people, their hands. Let us see a different word. Chapter 2, verse number 95. Chapter, uh, uh, this is chapter 297, is saying that لما بين again, believing in what is between his hands. But for sure, the Muslims will take it and will change it because that will destroy Islam. Look, they say, confirming what came before it, and the word hands is not there. <laughs> you know, uh, there is, uh, let me see. I will open an Islamic dictionary. By the way, until now, Zero Abdul, he dared to challenge us, as you see. So, uh, this is Al Ma'ani. This is Islamic Dictionary. This is Arabic Dictionary, Islamic Dictionary. All right. I will post it for you. You can you can you can try the same, and you can copy the word from the Quran, and you can you know paste here. What do you think? So let us copy from the Quran. Actually, we copied it already. We have it in the board already. There we go. Right. So we have it copied. Be my witness. All right. And now we click at search. Look at the Muslim translation. This is the Muslim. They say Quran. They translate it as before him, before it, his hands. It is hands. So they try to lie. They say it's translated this way, but look, they could not resist the truth. 
بين يديه it is hands Quran 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 so how the same word translated here before it but the same word here it is his hands because you are a bunch of liars you go down with him بين يديه in his hands بين يديه in his position in his presence in, uh, under his control uh, uh, look see it you see it you claim Jesus will tell me what is my favorite color my friend we do not need Jesus to tell you what is your favorite color you like camera urine so it is yellow why we why we need Jesus for this aren't you a Muslim everybody knows your favorite color Camera urine in the best scenario let us say you are pregnant and you are going to have a baby you mix it with ajwa and uh, you know uh, honey so what is a question is that what the favorite color for a Muslim green Allah will make you dress a green your your orgas orgasm is a green and you will be green and Allah no you will be white so sorry he will make you a tall six floor tall brother actually no in the heaven you will be 90 mile tall and your wife she will be 30 mile man but you are just two feet wide by the way I mean you will look like a worm literally like a long 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 worm so a Muslim now is giving me a question which is supposedly but do you see my friend anyone who speak little Arabic he knew that this is what it's it meant between his hands the second you say between his hands, literally mean between his hands you can say okay in his position but it's the same between his hands but the Arabic word yadaihi mean hands hands do we have any Muhammadan here? He have the courage and the knowledge to get us busted. Anyone? You know, we are talking about Jesus who walk in water, who control the storms, who make the blind see. And the Abdul saying to me, can Jesus tell me what is my color? Well, ask your stupid Quran. Your stupid Quran says, yes, Jesus can tell you what you ate, which means what is in your stomach and what in your belly. But this is your stupid Quran. Do we have any Muhammadan is a serious, successful Muslim? Have a career so we can end your career? Who is going to call me and end my career? What do you know about Jesus? Nothing. Zero. Nada. Let us see. We have somebody. The only one who call us about Islam usually is someone who deny what the Quran interpretation says. Like a, a Muslim, he want to translate as he wish. He want to explain as he wish. Uh, he, you know, it's a metaphorical, you know. So the sunset in America worker, it is as it is. Okay, the, the Quran means as it is. What what the heck? The Quran says as it is. That's deep. I mean, who can come with such an answer except as it is Muhammadan? As it is. Do we have any Muhammadan? Like yesterday, you know, the Muhammadan two days ago, we have the Muhammadan. We ask him about this verse. He said, no, the verse in the Quran, it says, uh, okay, he found it sitting in a spring of murgi water. He mean, as it is, as it is, like they, they have, you know, and they say that we keep the Quran as it is. And now they are adding the whole sentence to the Quran to duct tape the stupidity of Muhammad who is copying a legend about the sun getting her heat from a boiling water. 
And you will notice that this water is murky. This is a volcano water. So the stupid Muhammad, you think, this is what the legions say, that the sun every day go and take a bath in this murky water and get uh, like heated again and come back. <laughs> Do we have any Muhammadan? What do you know about Christianity? Your God do not even know what the, what the Trinity is. Your God, he thinks the Trinity. Actually, if you if you read about what what Allah he said about Jesus, you will die laughing. As an example, not necessarily, not limited. Just to show you how stupid this religion is. Where is the heroes they are in the street? Call me. Huh? Just call me. What you will lose, you will win. Allah is in your side. All right? Look, the stupid Muhammad in chapter 5, verse number 17 says, In blasphemy indeed are those who say that Allah is the Christ. You see, if you ask the Muslim, they say to you, okay, what he meant here, that uh, Allah is the Christ, uh, that uh, Allah is the Christ. You cannot say that. Okay, hold on. First of all, we don't believe in Allah. Now you will say, I know. Oh, the Arab Christian in the Middle East, they use the word Allah, even in their Bible, this is a false translation. And this is after 1400 years of ISIS occupation. But we cannot find the word Allah anywhere in the Bible. And here when the Quran says that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, made a big poo, poo Forget about Allah. If the Quran is saying, that we believe in Trinity, Allah and the Messiah, and Mary, by the way, Mary is number three. So if the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, who is number two and who is number three? Any Muhammadan can help me? Who is number two and who is number three? I have seen that the word God in Aramaic, Allah, that's false. You are ignorant, my friend. The the old are uh, uh, first of all, we have to say that the word Allah is coming from the Aramaic people when they used to worship the people of uh, Abraham. They worship the God, uh, the moon, moon God. So if you go in the Quran, and we will go to what you just said. You will see this. Abraham, he worshipped, according to the Quran, he worshipped the moon, the stars, and the sun. When he saw the sun, he called it Akbar. What the Muslim believe? Allahu Akbar. There's two God. Wu in Arabic mean and, not Allah is Akbar. Muslim, they don't say Allah Akbar. They say Allahu Akbar. When he saw the sun rising in splendor, he said, this is my Lord, this is Akbar, not a greater. That's false translation. That is the sun God. So Muhammad, he unite, this is what Tawheed is, unite between the moon God and the sun God. Now we go to the word Allah. Just to show you that you are in ignorant. In, you know, many times we, we mentioned that the word Al in the Aramaic language is a word meaning God. Let us open our Tiber. And we can prove that actually even from the Quran. If we go to chapter 1, verse number 1, as you see it here, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and verse number 2. You will see that Allah here is not the same as Allah here. There's no Allah here. This is Lillah. What happened? You cannot take letters from names. You cannot. Christ is a Christ. You cannot say, you cannot take Christ. You cannot take the first and second letters. You cannot. Hello? Christian Prim. Uh, for some reason, we lost connection totally. Am I heard? Let me know, please, if you hear me very well. Yeah. All right. Maybe we have, I don't know, too much uh, pressure in the connection, maybe. 
It is. It is. <clears throat> Am I heard now? All right. Let us call our friend who called us before we lose our connection. Hey, my friend, how are you? Sorry, I lost my connection. No, I'm all right. How are you? I'm all right. So what do you want to say to us? Do you see the topic? I heard that the Muslims, they know more about Christ than Christians. Without any doubt, we oh, know... Tell me about Christ. Okay, tell me about him as as a Muslim. Go ahead. Isa Islam. Who is Isa? You guys. Okay, can I just explain? You, you, you just yeah, but you know, you okay, what you say? You see, but you. Just, I said, you see, I, is, I said to you. Problem. Okay, hold on, hold on. I said to you, speak to me about Yeshua, and you say to me Isa. So it's not normal okay, thing okay. because the purpose is what is to know what you Muslim know about uh, Christianity, right? So who is Isa? Okay, can right. I speak? Who, who is Isa? Can I speak? Who is Isa? Okay. Okay, let's like, talk now, please. Go ahead. Isa alayhi salam. Yeah, you guys call Jesus, Christians call Jesus or Yeshu, mm. yeah, mm. without any doubt, was a Muslim. Just mm. look at look at the, look at the beliefs and the doctrines mm. that Isa Salam preached. It's nothing but Islam, mm. nothing but Islam. Look at the Bible itself. It's against the core tenet beliefs of mm. Christianity. The mm. Bible itself mm. disproves Christianity. But until now, you did not tell me what you know about Christianity. You are just telling me, look at this, Islam, look at this etc. This one coming, this one coming. Isa al Islam uh -huh. said, My God and your God. Mm -hmm. My Lord and your Lord. Isa what, is the name, what is the name of the God of uh, of the one mentioned in the Bible? When Jesus, he said, My God and your God, Jesus speaking Allah about the Father, he says, He says, My Father, he is that God he's talking about, correct? My Father. It says also, Your, your Father. Remember? Exactly. Father, okay, no problem. Father, so, do you both. Muslim believe that the God of the Christian and the Jews is your father? For us, it's not there, but metaphorically, again. No, 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 no. Don't tell me metaphorically. Then give again, me the answer. Either you yes, yes or no. <laughs> um, we well, we don't call Allah um, Father. But we is it Allah. so? Is it okay to consider him to call him like? Is it okay to say Allah is our Father metaphorically? Yes, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Let me ask yeah. you: When the Christian they say uh, Elohim is our father, they wouldn't mean that they are not a human. Well, I've just you yourself said it already. It's metaphorically. I've said it to you. Okay, you thank you. Believe that so God only stu is our only stupid people will think about it, not metaphorically. Correct. So, do you believe God is no, our I'm father? No, I'm asking you. Are we have a conversation? Don't you know? So only stupid people will think that if I say my father, it is he. If he think it's not metaphorically, if he think I'm claiming to be uh, God, not a human, then that is a stupid person. Correct? <laughs> Look, why does he say in the Bible? Why? Why? Why you don't answer? Why don't answer? You just said yes, it's metaphorically, and now you don't want to talk about it. So I'm asking you, make yes, it, it, make is. it clear. I've told you already, it's metaphorically. Okay, so if somebody, he don't believe in it metaphorically, is he stupid? Um, Yes. Okay, thank you. If this someone is... believes, it, okay, if someone believes it physically, that, if someone that... believes Allah okay, is our okay, father physically. Okay, thank you. Hold on, hold on. You like... There is no need for a story. This is your Quran. Your Quran is the stupid God who think that when the Christian, they say, we are the children of Allah, he think that we are claiming to be gods and we are claiming not to be human. And you are the one who just agreed that the one who think in such a way that the Christian they meant it in such a way is a stupid. Chapter five, verse number eighteen. Read it. Um. Well, um. The place I'm at. Can you read it out for me, please? I cannot read for you. I'm illiterate, like Muhammad. <laughs> but the Quran. Open your yes. phone. No excuse. You see, <laughs> Skype. You can exit the, the. You know, you can stay in the call, and you are using the phone. No problem. Open it. Chapter five, verse eighteen. Skype allow you to exit the page, still talking to me, and still what you does, can does read. Say on it? I don't know. What you tell me. You tell me. It says exactly what you say. The one who think that we believe when we say that God is the Father, he believe that we are claiming to be not a human. He is a stupid, and that is your God. That's why we say Islam is made by a stupid, and Islam have nothing to do with the Christianity, and you do not know anything about Christianity. Read it. Where where does it say that? 
Uh, there's a trinity in the Christian belief. Don't in the change. Old Testament, you see, guys, you see, you see how they fast they change in the speed of light. In the speed of light. He don't want to read the verse no more. He just said, he just admitted that his God is a stupid. And now, what it says, you can do those things with David Wood, not with me. Okay? Those things you can change topic as you Why wish. Why don't you answer? No, no, Why don't you answer? no, you are. You, you, we just gave you the question and you answer already. And you said, the one who thinks this way is a stupid. Yes. And that is your God, the Quran in front of you, and you're trying to escape the embarrassment. You just called your God, Mr. D Bean. Well, Allah, Allah already said he hasn't got a son. He has no, he this has is not the no question. Son. Don't change the topic. I'm <laughs> telling you, you're talking to Christian Prince. I grab you from your tail until you finish it. You cannot escape. So now, <laughs> are you willing to read what you called your God as a stupid Proving that God of Islam is a stupid person, do not know what the Christian believe, and then they never meant that when they say our father, they meant that they are not a human. Answer the verse in the front of you. You know, um, when when Christians always say God is our father, they actually literally mean it that way. Christians, you are a big, you, know you are a big fat liar. No, it's true. You know, you it are yourself. a big fat liar. <laughs> You say you're the children of Allah. You are a you're big not. fat liar. And secondly, <laughs> secondly, secondly, you stupid. You are the one who just said no. It's metaphorically. I asked you. I, I asked. Listen, listen, listen. Us. Listen how stupid you are. Listen how you are a hypocrite you are. I ask you. Do you think that the Christian when they say God is our Father, they meant it to be His sons, and they are not a human? You said no. It's metaphorically. I ask about the Christian what they believe, and you said to me no. It's recorded. And now you are saying, no, we meant it in that way. I mean, this is how you change your tail direction. The, the tail now was in your ass a second ago. Now it's in your mouth. So now everybody is laughing. Everybody will copy this video and we'll see how and why we laugh at Muhammad and at Muhammad. So now you're a stupid God. He think that when the Christian, they say, our father, he claimed that we are claiming not to be human. And the person in front of you, read it. You are laughing at your God, aren't Christian you? Christian Prince, honestly, man. You're Christian Prince. Uh -huh. Do you really believe Isa, Jesus? Why yeah? you don't want to read the verse? You tell me what is this? What is, what is your the, what is your secret? What is your secret? Why you don't place, read it? The, the place I'm at, I can't. Ah, oh, you are. You cannot read the verse. You can call me to this talk about why Allah, I'm you, but you cannot. You read read. Why you cannot read the verse? Tell me why. Read it out for me, then, please. No, read you it read it. No, you program. read it. You, you are lying. You don't want to read it because I want to people see people hear you from your own translation. How embarrassing! How okay. stupid the Quran is. How long? How long are you gonna be online? Because um, I'm actually busy now, so I can come back. What are you busy? Back. You are in the bathroom. No, I'm I'm at import uh, I'm at an important place. Ah, so you call me when you are in an important place, and now you are yes, important. I'm on break. And now you are busy. I'm on break. I'm on break. That's why you are on break. Quickly... Ah. Yes. And like in your break, we broke how many tooth you lost already? Open the camera. Let everybody see how many tooth left. <laughs> Yeah, let, let, let them see. You, you, really just, you just you just call your really God. You just speak. call your God is stupid. Your God, he says to these Christians, <laughs> you claim that God is your father. <laughs> so why he punish you for your sin, huh? And you know what? Nay, nay, you are just a man, a human, huh? Hello, this is your stupid Quran. So you believe you believe Jesus, yeah, didn't preach Islam. Don't change the topic. Jesus. Yes, Jesus is not a Muslim no, because if Jesus Muslim, if Jesus is a Muslim, he have to be a child molester like your prophet, going after six years old girl, advising his followers to go after children to have sex with them. If Jesus was a Muslim, should be accused of stealing underwear as your prophet being accused by his gang, his own companion. If Jesus was a prophet, he should be lusting after his 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 his, his relatives and women around him, sleeping around like Muhammad, even his own son, daughter in law. He slept with her and he took her as a wife. If Jesus was a Muslim, he should allow you that you can curse using the faith, the name of God in vain. If Jesus is a Muslim, he should say to you, Don't worry, you just say 100 times my name and your name is forgiven. If you touch the black stone, your sin is forgiven. If you kiss the black stone, your sin is forgiven. If you go and do hard walk around the Kaaba, your sin is forgiven. But Jesus opposes all of those. He says, The one who heard the little one is better for him to put a mild stone in his neck and throw himself in the deep ocean. That is about Aisha. 
Jesus said that it doesn't matter how many times you say to me, Lord, Lord, but the one who do my father will. You Muslim, you say 100 times, inshallah, you are going to heaven. What kind of a scam this scam is? And God, he promised you, if you are saying that Jesus is the same as the Muslim and he's a Muslim, then how come Jesus, he promised us a holy heaven where there's no sex, no marriage, no sexual religion, but in your God, Allah will make your penis endless and your balls is so small and the women she will have a but vagina fit for that shut up and if Jesus was a Muslim you are insulting my Jesus my friend you are calling Jesus a Muslim this is the biggest insult ever for being a Muslim that mean being a follower of Satan and evil and lost and sexual activity which is not lawful that what Muslim mean. Okay, you're a prophet okay, being a promise. Hold on, shut up. You're a prophet being a promise to be to have the power of 40 men of people of heaven, which means the power of 4,000 men in sex. If your prophet is a man of God, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go because you're just being abusing now. Okay, I'm abusing. Yeah, you cannot answer. And thank you for saying your God is just an idiot. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> Jesus is a Muslim. <laughs> that is a good one. Jesus is a Muslim. Jesus allowed us to do muta. <laughs> brother and sister, Jesus was a Muslim. Uh, uh, and the other brother, if you see a woman in the elevator, brother, you can say to her, how much you charge me to take off your panty, sister? Sister, haram, halal, brother, this is halal. She's wearing hijab now, you know, that she is in the elevator with you. And, you know, lawful, lawful, brother. Hmm? And, brother, you can ask her, brother, to stay with you for three days, three nights. If you wish, you can increase. If you wish, you can decrease, brother. And this is, is a Muslim. A Muslim saying to me, Yusuf, debate a real Muslim, not a coward. Are you talking about yourself, Yusuf? Because I know, prove to me that you are not the coward and call me. <laughs> debate a real Muslim, brother. I cannot find one, can you? I never heard of one. Have you? Where are you? Well, look, do you have a picture of a donkey there? Or this is Scooby Scooby Doo? Isn't it your prophet? He says Allah will take off your deed if you have a dog. And you are putting Scooby Doo picture for you. Isn't it the dog is an enemy of Allah? I mean, have you ever heard of a God? His enemy is a lizard. Peace be upon him. Your enemy is your size. If I go right now outside and look in my yard for my enemy and people ask me why you have your guns with you, I say I'm looking for the lizard. People would die laughing. It's not even a legator. This is the enemy of God, lizard. Don't you think this is too much lizardine religion? The lizard God enemy. Uh, this guy, he... He wanted to talk to me and now he declined my call. Let us call him again. Hello? 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 No, I cannot hear you. Your voice is very low. Where are you? How are you now? I cannot hear you. I don't know. Look, we are talking yeah, from, oh, from from the aquarium. Right. What? Are you talking from the aquarium? No, what? Okay, hold on. Where? Just take take a hike, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking from his nose. I don't know. I don't know where the voice is coming from. It can come from anywhere, but not from your mouth for sure. Can we have a real Muslim, brave Muslim? Like, as you see, Mr. Yusuf, he said, don't talk to a coward. Hey, Abdul, the one who called me a second ago, your brother is calling you a coward. Why? Because you cannot answer. And you are giving embarrassment to Allah. I cannot believe it. He called his God stupid. 
obviously the God of Islam is a true God, he should not say this verse. Because he should know that the Christian, what they say, our father, they don't mean that he is really their father. Literally. They don't mean that they are not a human. What kind of answer this answer is? And you know what? If you are his beloved sons, why he uh, punish you for your sin? Hey Muslims, why people in Somalia are angry? Why people in Syria then in their country? Why people of Afghanistan begging for money? Why Pakistan, the new country, is begging the Christian for help after the flood, which making millions of people angry? Why Allah punishing you for your sin, Muslims? Is that an answer? So the one who wrote this statement, he did not know what the Christian believe. He have no idea what they are talking about. He is just a Bedouin. He throw words. Oh, you are saying that you are the sons of God, huh? Ah, <laughs> stupid people. You are a human, okay? You are a human. You do shopping in Amazon. Ask this guy, Christian Prince, did we go shopping in Amazon? Yes, brother, I did. See, I told you. Have you ever heard of people who is sons of God? They worship, they, they go and shopping in Amazon? Christian Prince, what is the last product you bought from Amazon? Come on, urine. First of all, this is not uh, Christian Prince is talking. This is Ali Dawa. What kind of God? He did not know what the Christians believe. So he is mistaken about the Trinity. And then the Trinity became Jesus is Allah. <laughs> So if Jesus is Allah, who is the second person, who is the third person, there's one person will be missing. And the Holy Spirit of Quran never mentioned that the, the Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity. Is that a mistake? Hmm? Brothers and sisters, there's a person, his name is a Christian prince. Honey, can you give me the grape? Give me the grape, honey. No, that is a grape. The one we got from the donation. This is one your mom bought it. We don't want to waste the money. From the donation. From the donation. Yeah. Okay, give me the grape. Okay, honey. Yes. Uh, so, brother, sister, what was the topic? Hmm. Do we have any Mohammedan? Why somebody is a Christian is texting me and calling me now? I want to know. Do we have any brave beside the uh, Yusuf? Hey, Muslims, your name is Yusuf. What Yusuf mean? I mean, even their name is, is a theft. If you ask them what Yusuf mean, they have no idea. Here we go. Yusuf. Okay, what Yusuf mean? They don't know. A Muslim, his name is Abraham. Okay, what Ibrahim mean? They don't know. What Isa mean? They don't know. What Isaac mean? They don't know. So what do you know? And they claim that they know about Christianity what we do not know. They know more. What Allah means? They do not know. They are busy just calling the sheikh. Can we, brother? Is a hamster is the enemy of Allah? Hamster. The religion of uh, Discovery Channel. Hamster is the enemy of Allah. No, brother. The hamster is the biggest enemy of Allah. Not only is an enemy of Allah, we can prove it. And then the Sheikh he elaborate and he says, as an example, brother and sisters, the hamster they intend to do harm to Muslims. Man, this is religion of conspiracy. Everybody is against them. Hamster, the mice, Mickey Mouse. They have a fatwa against Mickey Mouse. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion, any religion in the world? They wage jihad against cartoon for kids. Hmm? Only the intelligent religion of Islam, brother. 
Saudi rich leader proclaimed fatwa against Mickey Mouse. Allahu Akbar. And by the way, Mickey Mouse, kukuruku, kukuruku, kukuruku. He say hello and he is fine. Just heard his uh, his phone is ringing. You know, he was spoke to me and he is fine and he's safe. He, he is hiding from the Mujahideen. This is it. This is, and they said to you, we know about, you don't know even anything about your religion. You know, the mouse who is the enemy of Allah. What about lizard? And yeah, Allah has a dog. And then he sent him and he ate the cousin of Muhammad. Who is a Muhammad and he knew what he's talking about? They don't. They have no idea. They get angry about burning the Quran. You are the first one who burned the Quran. I mean, what a stupid people. Who is the first one ever burned the Quran? Uthman, the Caliphate. So what the problem? The Muslim did not get upset for burning a Christian priest in Nigeria just a few days ago, like five days ago. And by the way, nobody mentioned, by the way, in the news. Do you know why? For two reasons. He is African, black, poor country. If the one is, bur is burned is a Muslim, CNN, Fox News, every scumbag in the world will talk about it nonstop. But uh, it's a poor uh, Christian African burned, being burned. Who cares? They don't have the money of the oil. They don't have Qatar money in their behind. Uh, let him die. We did not hear uh, Joe Biden speaking about speech of hate. You know? I mean, this origin of hate, even Mickey Mouse is their enemy. They burned the guy alive. Which TV station you heard the news? Nobody. Maybe if he is a white person, he's carrying a passport of Sweden, then everybody will be talking about it. Hmm? This is now. This is just now. This is just. You see it. This is in Fox News, but we don't heard about. It. They put it there, by the way, because everybody is copying from everybody. And finally, they finally they put it there. It's like it's like a, a rabbit. He was burned. Not nothing. Not a big news. Did they make like an one hour about it to to, to speak about what happened? How would, what those Christians are suffering from? Nobody care. But trust me, we are going to burn Muhammad every day. In his grave, we are barbecuing him. And you can't protect this evil man. Do we have any brave Muslim? I'm scared to debate you. Okay, my friend, I'm going to block you in the chat so you can call me. Here we go. I don't have time for kids. Everybody is scared from debating Muslims to the point we open our Skype and say, Who wanna call me? Hmm. Do you see how scared we are? Very scared, brother. I'm scared like Muhammad. I ask my cousin Ali to sleep in my bed so I can run away like a, like a rat. Have you ever heard of somebody, a brave man, he asked little kid to, to die in his bed for him? The Muslim, they claim that the Arab, they are coming to kill Muhammad in his bed. So what the brave Muhammad, he say? He said to Ali, sleep in my bed, cover yourself, so they will think you are me. And the guy is nine years old. What a brave man. Who is a Muhammadan? Would like to call me and do muta.
Any Mohammedan? I want to know how you Muslim. What do you know about Christianity? You know nothing. You don't even know what Christianity means. What Christianity mean? Your big sheikh, he says, oh, if I look the whole Bible, I will not for the word Christianity. Idiot. Zakir Naik and Mink and all those monkeys. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Who want to take the challenge? The one who called me, he is busy. Especially after he got his God busted and he called his God stupid. And you know, I want Christians to learn how to speak to Muslims. When you are, when you ask him a question, the second the Muslim he will notice that the question is leading to wrong direction, which means not for the benefit of Allah. He will try his best to change the topic in the speed of light, like what you heard. If you go and watch the debate of a Christians, without saying names, because people they say, "Why well, you say David Wood or something?" It doesn't matter. All of them. You go and see the debate of Muslims with a Christian, you will find how the Christians, they let them lose. They change the topic in a second. So the, the, suddenly we have different direction, different question, different topic, and that's it. The previous question is doomed. Do you remember the guy, his name is Perfect Dawah as an example, not necessarily. Perfect Dawah, he go to David Wood. Debate David Wood. Right? Perfect Dawah is doing perfect there. He give any answer he wish. He is playing around the bushes. And he's so comfortable. You know? Very comfortable. And the moderator is useless, you know. I mean, when they have those moderator stuff, I mean, it's more funny even that you have a, a fake fight and you have a moderator, as if we are having like a boxing match, you know? Moderator. What the moderator for? So perfect Dawah is doing perfect with the David Wood. Why? Because he can say any anything, you know? Anything you can say. Especially when you have a moderator. Nobody can stop you. Say, oh, hold on, did you say that? Did you just say that? What does that mean? The same guy, he came to me. Go and watch the debate and see what happened to him. He will never come back. He lost his tail. He lost his arms. He lost his feet. I mean, the guy, he lost everything. And the rest are the same. <clears throat> and if somebody, like you said, as you said, they they refuse the hadith, who uh, then, then throw them out? Don't accept them. If they refuse those things, then there's no point of talking to them, because if the Muslim is refusing what his prophet said, why are we going to accept what you are saying? Who are you? A guy in YouTube? Imagine I say to the Muslim, I refuse what Jesus said. So why you call yourself a Christian? Don't waste your time with those people. And never do those garbage things like, uh, uh, you know, uh, moderator, moderator. All those, you know, you see them, like this guy, uh, what his name? Uh, what his name? Nader Ahmad, Nader Ahmad, brother. Nader Ahmad. I don't know, the picture is gone. It was there in the picture. So, Nader Ahmad, he came here. Uh, we, we offer this guy, potato. why you don't call me? Let me call you, I will call you. He will never accept. He don't dare. Because there they can play. We don't have a Christians really who knows how to debate. I mean, what is this? Nader Ahmad is an idiot who did not know even how to read one sentence in his book. The other guy, 
he 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 makes stories up debating who I will not even call it a debate. You see, I don't call what Muslims call me. I don't call it a debate. I call it just a, you know, I mean, just having fun. Because debate have to be between people of knowledge. Those are idiots. They do not know anything. Do you remember when Nader Ahmad, you know, and all of them, by the way, the second you get them busted, they say to you, Christian Prince, I debate you only face to face. Only face to face. But look, they go online, they debate online, but with me only face to face, all of them. Do we have any smart Mohammedan? Anyone? And you know, some of them, they are really like, like stupid kids. So I don't waste my time with them because that's it. I you and like I mean, you know for me the way I do it with the those who claim to have knowledge, I I talk to you, I wash my the floor with you, and then you will become like a dirty rag and then I throw you. That's it. I'm done. You, you let us see if you won, because they lose, they keep losing, they keep coming back. It's like a gambling, you know. So another Ahmad, you know, I I made him shish kebab long time ago, long time ago, and he accepted his prophet have sex with the goat. And then the guy, he keeps saying, I want to debate Christian Prince, but then I don't want to waste my time with him because this guy is just stupid. You know, he, he, don't, he don't know anything about Islam. And now because I'm not talking to him, uh, you know, I don't want to talk to him. So he go around, he say, Christian Prince is running away from me. You know, what the heck is that? What are you talking about? He's uh, brother, you know, uh, you know, okay, uh, you know, Christian Brands. Yeah. And look, look, this is four years ago. Nader Ahmad, Christian Prince ran away from debating, from debate. This is Nader Ahmad. Then I said, you know what, Nader Ahmad, let me take you for a snack tonight. As long as we don't have Muslims, you know, let us let us let us take you. And we will let him we will, we did let him call me. And disaster happened, as usual. And what I you know. So let us see. Is this the one, the last one he called me? I don't know, let us see. Okay. 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 Give us one. Give us one. Give us one. Let us not to waste time, me and you. And what I want from you more after you agree that your prophet have sex with the goat. Actually, he's here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let us call him. Hey, Nader Ahmed, how are you? Hello. Well, hello, CP. How have you been doing? After all these years, we finally meet. This is very good. I get a chance to meet you. How have you been doing? Thank you. I'm very fine. So what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yeah, so, you know, uh, we've been having these wonderful debates on the Bible or on in modern science. Mostly Quran and modern science. What, and what? Quran, I have a few challenges. Quran and science? Absolutely. We've been having these discussions and debates, and I have said Christian has been running away from this debate series because he knows that the Quran is in complete harmony with modern science, okay. and there's... Okay, okay. 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 give us one. Give us one. Give us one. Let us not waste time, me and you. So for some reason, your voice is cutting. Well, Let us, give, give me one miracle. Give me one miracle. Answer, give me one miracle. Yeah. Okay, listen, you have to why were you running away from me from this debate? My People said, no, 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 see who is going excuses. We are here. Let us see who is running. Give me a miracle. Let us laugh. Uh, well, here's what I would like to do, uh, Christian Prince. I would like for us to have a public debate on this topic. Uh, in which... uh, Abdul, do you want to debate me or talk to me? So he keep going around. Christian Prince ran away from me. Okay. And, and you know, the, the last time I spoke to him was many years ago. I made him, I literally, even the Muslim, they wrote articles against the stupid guy because he admit he agreed that his prophet have sex with the goat. With the goat! He said to me, literally, which one is better, having sex with the goat or smashing the head of the baby?
and then the Muslim they went all over him and not to mention the rest and not only that then he posed the debate in his website and he says all the statement made against Prophet Muhammad by Christian Prince is taken off from the video which is left so what is left in the video the whole debate is about your prophet having sex with the goat you idiot so all the statement my bad Christian Prince insulting Prophet Muhammad against Prophet Muhammad is taken off from the video and this is the debate look ahead and now this guy he go around Christian Prince ran away from me Christian Prince I don't want to talk to you because you're so stupid you're just and, and you know they give you a headache you have to repeat the question a million times to get the answer and this way today actually I will play it for you a little bit of it so you gave an example how you have to be consistent you grab him from his tail you never let go never let go so now okay let us uh, discuss how we can debate in the in public place so what where is the guy who want to debate let us laugh uh, well here's what i would like to do uh christian friends i would like for us to have a public debate on this topic in uh, Abdul, do you want to debate me or talking to me right uh, now until we have that happen give me the miracle everybody will laugh okay. at you you are you are playing like a kid you call me you claim you, claim you can debate me here we go we can do it right now why next year why next century do it right now otherwise you are just a kid wasting my time so i'm i'm, I'm listening to you please don't let us speak like a dog. Are you going to debate me right now, okay, or you will never do it? Well, well. First of all, I will give you. Want me to give you a scientific miracle right now? I can okay. do that. Mm -hmm. But I think you should first answer why you are running away from me. Well, answer that to the people you because the one is running. I'm saying to you, let's do it right now. You said no. It's you who's running. Do okay. it. Go ahead. What I <laughs> let's do. Let's do ten minutes right now. Friend, no I can hear you. Will be one. Talk. It's a crossfire debate. Everybody will hear us. It's a conversation. Go ahead. Okay. Here's the problem. If we don't have set rules with time limits, friend, things like that, then we're just going to be. It's a free. It's a, it's, a, it's a free. If it's a free boxing match, show me. Aren't you the one who speak? You speak. You know. You play karate and you are good at boxing. Do your boxing. Free boxing match. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Christian Prince. The Don't problem here is what I stop. Stop making excuses. The rules go for both of us. It's a free, free, free. Say whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Go ahead. But, but I have a very good excuse. My excuse no, from running from you excuse. is this. You are a coward. Okay, let me. Give... You are wasting our time. Are you going ah. to debate me or not? Okay, what what I cannot do, Christian Prince, is win a shouting to match. That... Now or not? Howard on the run. Okay, so we're going to talk about one scientific miracle, and then you're going to agree to debate me later on. Okay, so I, I let's always, do. I'm, sorry, I'm I am agreeing to debate you anytime. Here we go. I'm here with you. Go ahead. Uh, CP, we need a format. We need equal time, don't and we need to don't, share. Don't call me again. You are just a kid. You don't dare even to talk to me. We need a format. What format? You see the excuses they put. Those format is the way. Is like a is is like a the 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 bulletproof. You know vest. So I can hide behind it. So you saying I I want, which means you will never be able to corner him. You know. So five minutes for me, five minutes for you. Those are just kids talk. Never, never do those such a debate. Never accept. Those are just kids. Those are not even really. I don't know who is the stupid who came with this idea that this guy have 10 minutes and this guy have 10 minutes, you know? So like imagine Jesus is standing and now the Jews around him. And now, okay, two, 10 minutes to the Jews. A 10 minutes to Jesus. <laughs> what the heck? So anyway, I call, you know I called him back. I had mercy on him because people they said to me, CP, just bring him back. You know, just I mean we don't have customers. What we can do? This is what happened to you when it's dry. Even another Ahmed is welcome. This is how horrible the time sometimes is. Dry, drought. Be a man. You, call, you, you are the one who said you want to debate me. You, you keep saying I'm running from you. You are just a kid. You are not even equal to my shoe. You don't even know how to say your prophet name correctly. If I call you right now and I ask you to say your prophet name correctly, do you do? Do you know how to say it? You don't. And you are the one who agree your prophet have sex with the goat. What more I want from you? 
So either you want to do it now, don't waste my time, I will call you one more time. Either we do debate now, don't put rules, no rule for you, no rule for me, speak as much as you want. Get me busted, go ahead, let me call you. <coughs> so, that hurt my feeling. Do you accept or not? You hurt my feeling. <laughs> yes, let's do a debate because I know you'll run away like a coward. So let's just do See? what you want. <laughs> go ahead. Thank you. Let, 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 be, be a man once in your life and talk. Go ahead. Speak as an adult. Go ahead. Okay. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yes, so we're going to do one scientific miracle okay. proves that the Quran is the truth and you are actually following a demon called Christ. So both the Bible and the Quran actually answers a question on the issue of alcohol. Now, what's very interesting here, there was a study done, I don't have my hmm. desktop, which is shared, where I'll show you that study, hmm. but in this study, it showed hmm. that, the, that the Quran actually, Muslim, because of the teachings of the Quran, the Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give a, a baby, uh, I'm sorry, to give birth to who has fetal alcohol syndrome. The study said you got to go to the Christians because of the influence of the Bible. So the question tonight, which Christian Prince needs to answer here, hmm. is, okay, so the book of the Quran and the Bible, they gave an answer to this question of alcohol. And when we look at the Quranic answer, it is a far superior what answer. Is the, what is the Quran to, answer? I know you're not giving me the verse from the Quran, remember. <clears throat> we'll talk about chapter, well, I'm sorry, Chapter what? What would you say? What chapter? Chapter 5, talking? verse 9. What chapter? Chapter 5, verse 9. Chapter yeah, chapter five, 5, verse 90. Chapter 5, verse, verse 90. 90. Okay, tell me about it. Go ahead. Now we know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Okay, and then I'll tell you about it, but I'm, I'm following the rules because I'm, I know you you will not run away from me and we'll debate on this topic. So that's the agreement here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the verse in chapter 5, verse 90. Okay. It says, forbidden food is... Uh, alcohol, any kind of intoxicant, mm -hmm. gambling. Okay. So, from the study here, they pointed out that this that Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give birth to a fetal alcohol because of the teachings of the Quran. Now, the question is here, which you need to answer is, how is it that the Quran well, gave a bad where, where, response? Where is speaking about the, the, the alcohol is bad, where it says that? No, it says for you forbidden is yeah. alcohol, any kind of intoxicants where it and, says, where it says and because of for, that where it says it's bad for your health in the verse you quote for me that is bad for your health no it is completely forbidden for muslims this is clear okay. and from um, the my, study my, my, again uh, uh, another 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 is yeah. I, i'm asking you a very simple question you say that this is about health i'm asking you why in the verse never say anything about health it says this is from shaitan that's all because it's from shaitan, don't do it, correct? Yes, this is from shaitan. And so because as a study concluded, it is the teachings of the Quran hmm. which caused Muslim women to abstain from alcohol. And so the question from again is that how did how could Allah of the Quran provide a better response okay. than Jesus of the Bible on the question of alcohol? That's a question you need to answer okay. now. Well, okay. And so no, this no, no. Let, let us make it clear. I, I'm just trying to get a full sentence from you. So are you saying the Quran confirmed that alcohol is bad, no matter what? The Quranic position is that it is forbidden. Yes, no, it's no, forbidden. It's forbidden. I, I know it's forbidden. This is not a question. Are you saying that alcohol is bad no matter what? It's bad. It's ugly. Yes or no? No, no matter what, no matter what. But I think these are irrelevant questions yeah, you're asking. You're running so away from the, the study. This is the topic. This is the topic. I want to know if alcohol is bad or it is but, not bad. Is it bad or not? I mean, what's wrong with you? So you are saying to me, Quran is forbidden but, alcohol. Okay, forbidden because of what? Because it's good or because it's bad? Yeah. What? You don't understand the question. Here, I so I need you to take no, some time. This is my question. This is my question. question. This is my right. question. This is my question, not yours. The Quran forbid alcohol. Is it because right. it is bad or because it's good? You're saying okay. So you're saying alcohol is forbidden. I'm not saying. Is it I'm because it's bad or good? You. Why you are in trouble? Very simple question. How many time I need to? Do you know why he is, he is hesitating to answer? 
Do you know why he is hesitating? Because the Muslims, they knew, they have experience about me. He's trying to avoid, he's now thinking, oh, he's asking me, is it bad or good? Oh boy, what I should say. Christian Prince, you have something to surprise me with. If I say yes, it's bad, he will screw with me. If I say it's good, he will screw it with me too. So I better make myself, I don't understand the question. And uh, <clears throat> I, will, I will try to change the topic, okay? So what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Repeat, listen carefully. The Quran forbid alcohol. That's wonderful. Oh, Does the Quran forbid the alcohol because it is bad or because it's good? So the reasons why the Quran forbade, there's actually a reason in the Quran they did. There's some good that outweighs the good that you look at the answer. and why, so why the you issue here why you are making a speech i mean the answer is very simple allah forbid alcohol because it's bad or allah forbid the alcohol because it's good which one choose one i've already given you the answer now the, the issue i'm going to read it to you and you got to i want a clear answer is it bad or good is alcohol is bad or good See, CP, I need you to stop interrupting me. I know you're scared. Stop, I know this is the point you are not able to answer. I want and what one happens? word. Is it bad or good? You are the one who chose the topic. Everybody is my witness. And now you don't dare to answer. What's wrong with you? Okay, Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad or because it's good. CP, CP, you got to let me. Don't interrupt me. You have I'm to let me answer. Me. Okay, we're going to have an intelligent speech. making a speech. I mean, the answer is very simple. You call me, you say, according to science, proving that women, they give birth, and they have a, a, a defect in their birth. That's wonderful. That means alcohol is bad. So why you don't say it's bad? Is it bad or not? You know, the, the, the issue with the Quranic position on alcohol <laughs> is that there is some good in it. My friend, I want okay, you to go mention to okay, me. There is, some... is it you who mentioned to me in the beginning saying that science proved that most of women who give a defect birth, the reason for defect birth, and you, you mentioned the word the Christian specifically, that the reason for that the highest percentage is yeah. because of alcohol. So is alcohol is bad or good? Okay, okay, your question, if I... Un <laughs> and all of this, you know, all, all of this because he knew he's talking to Christian Prince. He knew that this guy will not ask a question unless there's a screwdriver coming after it. So he's doing his best playing dumb like he do not know what i meant like what like what what do you mean huh what what are you talking about what the so christian prince the bible says abdul is it bad or good so you have to repeat the question a thousand times and then the some christian and in in, in, later in the comment they said to you christian prince you have no patient you are rude is that how jesus taught you to speak no if you speak to those people, you will have a heart attack. Is it bad or good? I mean, students, he say right away, it's bad. But he's scared to say it. He knew. He knew. This is not apostate prophet or David Wood or this is a Christian prince. I cannot answer him. Prove that most of women who give a defect birth, the reason for defect birth, and you, you mentioned the word the Christian specifically, that the reason for that the highest percentage is yeah. because of alcohol. So is alcohol is bad or good? Okay, okay, your question, if I understand your question, you're you're saying that overall alcohol a I'm good or bad thing is that your question like, i mean this is even your topic and you don't even dare to answer you call me saying that because of a drinking I... alcohol women do give birth to children who have defect in their birth okay that's your claim and you claim this is from science that's wonderful now i'm asking you based on what you told me is that mean and based on the quran forbidding the alcohol is that mean according to allah alcohol is bad or good Oh, I think I understand your question. Your your question is, okay, did Allah forbid alcohol for 
specific reason of preventing fetal alcohol babies. Is What's that a, your question? No, no. What's wrong with you? You are in trouble. You are like a cartoon, Mickey Mouse. You are, you are in the corner. You know what to say. I'm asking you, is it bad or good? Very simple. Don't, I, tell, me, don't tell me any reason. I want to know. Is alcohol, according to the Quran, bad or good? Ah, bad. Okay, did I answer your question? Thank it's bad. You, but there's a little bit of good in it. The Quran okay, didn't... finally you said it is bad. So yeah, how yeah. come the Quran says it is good? Here we go. This is the chapter 16, verse number 67. You made me lose my voice, repeating the same question. The Quran says that the alcohol is amazing drink. It's the best. It's a miracle of Allah. Read for me the verses. <clears throat> Are you finding the verse? I'm sorry, I'm not even looking at your screen. Well, did you want me to respond? Oh, no, no I don't want you to respond. You can call a friend. I mean, what's wrong with you? The Quran says, you said to me, it's bad a second ago. You, are... you said to me a second ago, the Quran says what? that the alcohol is bad. <laughs> now the Quran saying that alcohol is a great what? drink. It's even a miracle from Allah. It is a benefit for mankind. And you can change any translation you want. What translation you want me to put for you on the screen? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not even looking at your screen. So can I, let me answer that if you, if I may. Uh, okay. One thing I will require of you, Christian, do not interrupt me in my rebuttal. Because if we're going to have an intelligent debate, we should not be interrupted. Even a rebuttal, because simply you just say that the alcohol is bad. The Quran is very saying the alcohol is amazing. I mean, can you even make a rebuttal? Okay. Okay. So, Okay, so let me now respond to you without interruption, because if you interrupt me, this is an act of cowardice, and this is exactly what I'm saying. He can't handle me in this debate, so he's got to sure interrupt me. So let me now sure go we, ahead and... We cannot handle you, for sure. Okay. Have, you know, no. For sure, you are like a little bit cat. I mean, I'll answer how the Quran, the same book, saying alcohol is a sign from Allah. It's a great benefit for mankind. And this is amazing product to, to, to use. It's a benefit. You make good deeds from it. You make good money from it. You make good health from it. It is in the top of that. It's a sign from Allah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so now you're going to let me speak or are you going to run away? I'm waiting, Hello, for, guys. I'm waiting for your interruption, majesty. Uh, in I'm waiting for your majesty. Stop complaining yeah. about interruption. You can do interrupt, interrupt me too. We said it's a free form. And I, I, you I have, your yeah. duty, remember your duty here, supposedly you are going to show me your knowledge. And your knowledge is a joke. You are just a kid. You choose a topic. You okay. mentioned the topic, you... and now you do not know what to say because your God said alcohol is amazing. How you answer that? Okay, I want everybody to understand. When you interrupt somebody, this is an act of cowardice. He's running away because I'm about to put this uh, put the slam uh, dunk on to him. So let me go ahead and answer the question. Mm -hmm. The issue with the Quran actually made it clear: in alcohol, there is some good. However, the bad. Is a good. So this is a, uh, this is what the Quran and the Quran and the kind of maybe that just get lost, get lost, stupid idiot. It's a waste of time to talk to you. It says in he just said the the point is the bad is good. <laughs> and by the way, I talk to him again. I call him again. You know, I lose my patient. I mean, they are like, they're talking to like a cat or you know, like a pet. And now he come. Okay, the issue is like the bad is good. Like what? What is the scientist and the babies and Muslims? And now it turns. It's a it's a sign from Allah. Alcohol is a sign from Allah. It's not only good. It's a miracle of Allah. I can do miracle. Let me get some grape and make a miracle in my kitchen. Don't worry, I called him again. But I lose my patience with those kids. You know what you can say? In front of you, it's a good. You made good from it. You made good nourishment of it. Indeed, you made good nourishment of it. Indeed, if you have sense, indeed you are a donkey. You are a certified donkey. Obviously, you do not know your book. It's a waste of time for someone like me. 
I can put my toes in a chat room and you cannot answer my toes. Who are you? So when you say, I'm going to debate the Christian Bruce, I want to debate the Christian Prince, you're a potato. Let me, yeah, the Quran says there's some benefit. What some benefit? It says, I asked you, is it bad or good? And I repeated the question a hundred times so you can think about it carefully. And then finally I made you say it. It's bad. It's bad. Chapter 16, verse number 67, Allah praise alcohol, claiming that he is the one who made it for us. It's for our benefit. So don't go around. You see, I, I, I just now, I give you like a bite. You know, like, you know, you want to bite my shoe? I give you my shoe. But as you see, even my shoe, you cannot even bite it because your mouth is so small. Potato. And if you want to talk about health and birth defect, I never saw birth defect as much in Islamic countries because you marry from your cousin. And the proof of birth defect is you. Look at you. I mean, if you are not the proof of birth defect, who is the proof? I hate myself sometimes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm too much, I'm too much. I mean, look, the guy is talking about birth defect and they marry their cousins, which means literally they are marrying their sisters. And they are talking about birth defect. Just go to the Middle East and see the biggest problem of disability, birth defect, all of it because they marry their cousins. The most marriage happen, happen between cousins. And the guy is talking about birth defect. And where in the Bible it says that women they can go around and sleep and and uh, and uh, drink alcohol. Where it says that. Where it says that the man he can be drunk. Actually, the Bible says clearly that drunken cannot go to heaven. Nowhere in the Quran says that. But those potatoes, the same by the way, the same game he played with David Wood. But David Wood he played good. Because David Wood there, he don't know what, you know, he can play. The same questions they gave to David Wood, they gave it to me. The same question, perfect da'wah they did to David Wood, they gave it to me, or the or, or prophet. So here they knew. That's why they are so scared and terrified. They can't play. No space to play. I don't have holes in the wall. So they can jump inside the hole. And then I called him back again, and now Nadir Ahmad is going to answer me. Idiot. Shall I call him back again or give him one more chance? <laughs> he will make a rebel. <laughs> Uh, why, why did you run away? I'm laughing. What happened? I'm, I'm, we are laughing. What happened? We, we have to take. A, we have to. We have to take commercial break because you are a bird defect yourself. So now, are you going okay. to answer or not? Don't 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 make an excuse. Are you going to answer how Allah He says that alcohol is a great product and he, it is a sign from Allah? And then you tell it. You said to me from the beginning that it is from Satan. Is it the other verse? It says from Satan. The verse, you oh, gave, the verse you gave me, chapter, chapter 5, isn't it that verse, it says that alcohol is from shaitan? Okay, well, I want to make it clear, you, you hung up on me, you interrupted me, I, and this I, is a clear I, sign I, of power. Everybody is laughing. Now, listen, 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 this is recorded, everybody will <laughs> laugh at you. So, the verse in chapter, chapter 5, verse number 90, it says that alcohol is from shaitan, correct? It is a handwork of shaitan, correct? It is a handiwork of the devil, which is found in your book, right? Nope. Okay, so now how the other verse is saying that it is the work of Allah? It is what? The work of Allah. What? It is the sign from Allah. It's a work of Allah. So chapter 16, verse number 67, it says, It is healthy. It is good. It's a fruit. It's amazing. It's a beautiful. It's a good. It's nourishment. And it is a sign yeah. from Allah if you have any sense so how it is a sign from okay. Allah and then the other okay. chapter you gave me it says it is the work or the handwork of shaitan which one we should take 
Absolutely. And so this, as you can see, Christian hmm. Prince is running away from the real question tonight on how is it the Quran could give a better response. Like what he's showing, okay, but I can show internal contradiction. Don't, don't, you, show don't, internal don't, contradiction. don't you stop it. Don't you stop it. It's, 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 you see, you know, you say I hang up on you. Don't, don't make me hang up on you because you're a kid. You're just a kid, literally. I'm asking you. The, answer, the question is very clear. The question is very clear. Everybody is laughing at you. You are a stupid like your prophet who said that the penis of the man will be endless. And I'm, I assure you are dreaming about that because you have a problem. Now, listen. Is it is it from God this alcohol or it's from Shaitan? Okay, so as you can see, he's interrupting me. He's hanging up on me, and this is a sign of this from Christian. Okay, okay, give me I, because I'm done with you. You're done. You're, you're, you're lost. I have nothing to say. I'm just giving you extra time. Just for you see, listen, listen, Mother Ahmed, you are here for one purpose: entertainment. You are just a joke. You are not a debater. You know nothing. What? So I'm asking you the verse in chapter 16, verse, ch chapter 16, verse number 67. Don't make me repeat, make me repeat myself one million times. It says that alcohol is made by Allah. It's a sign from Allah. It's a miracle of Allah. It's a great. It's amazing. And the other verse, the one you gave me, chapter five, verse number 90. It says it's the handwork of Shaitan. So which one of them is accurate? Okay, so the, one of the, the cowardice of Christian Prince, anybody can win a debate by interrupting their opponent, hanging up on them, and, and shoving me. questions. You can interrupt me. Like, you can interrupt me as much as you want. Still, you can't answer. What is the answer? What is the answer? People don't, don't care for you. You can cry as much as you want. People are listening. Which one is made by? Made by Allah or made by the devil? Is it bad or good? I'm waiting for the answer. I told you this guy is scared to debate me. The Quran sure, makes it very sure. clear. For sure, for sure, we are scared of you, my friend. So for sure. I mean, there's no, there's no two people that when I want to debate about it. You know, my friend, everybody's scared of you. You are, you are a crazy person, brother. So now, is Shaitan okay. is the one who made alcohol or Allah? Chapter 16, verse number nine, 67 says it's made by Allah. Chapter 5, right. verse number 90, it says made by Shaitan, and it's bad. So which one of them is accurate? Okay, so the Quran does not state in Surah 16, verse 67, that the that the uh, <laughs> alcohol was made by Allah. You have lied. Now, do not interrupt me again. Uh, what I want now, I do answer verse. this question, as you can. I think verse. he's running read, away. Read, read the verse for us. Read, read, read the verse for us. Read the verse for Allah. Read, read, read the verse. You just read the verse. You said it doesn't say that. Read the verse. Read the verse. I want every. I want it to be clear to everybody. He's running away. He cannot debate read, me. Read the Anybody verse, can read hear. the verse. Let us see who's running away. I mean, we are having a debate. Oh, I'm asking you. Give me the answer. I'll read the verse. Why? Why? Okay, you are saying something is not there. It's in front of us. Does it say that it's a goodly provision? Okay, let me read for you. This is the Muslim translation. Okay, and a goodly provision. Do you see the word goodly provision? Yes. Okay. It does not say. Okay. Perfect. If anybody can it, win it, doesn't say what? Doesn't, doesn't, say, doesn't say what? Doesn't, doesn't say what? Clear. Christian Prince is a coward. Is it clear? He cannot have a fair debate with equal time. He's refusing to do so. What equal is time? I'll give, you, I'll give you more time than me. I'm, I, I, I will stay mute if you're answering. I'm asking you. Does it say there? Well, it's, you said to me, I asked you, is it a bad? You said, yes, it is bad. Women, they get babies and they have defect. Bad for sure is bad. Okay, the Quran here says, and it's a goodly provision. Verily, there is in and be the sign to four people who have wisdom. So according to the chapter 16, verse number 67, the one who have wisdom is the one who drink alcohol. Okay. So uh, can I talk or is this just your time to stop, I mean, crying. Well, how are we stop crying? I'm trying to explain to you the question so you might answer. You are just trying to, to buy time. You do not know what to say. Go ahead. Yeah, you did lie to people in which you said that you said alcohol is from Allah. We have you on tape. After changing your statement, oh, it's just a goodly provision. It means that there's some good in it. So now you just kind of uh, change your original statement. So yeah, you did get busted lying can here I tonight. Talk now? Can, I talk? can I talk? Okay, you just say it. You just say it. Okay, hold on, guys. I, I said this is from Allah. It says that in front of you, you donkey. It says it's a sign. It's a sign. It's a miracle. Or ayat and ayat. You know what I mean? It's a miracle of Allah. Do you see the word sign? Are you a certified donkey like your prophet or you are not? You are. So it says here in the front of you, it's a sign for those who have a wisdom. The signs come from who? From God. Do you must believe that signs come from shaitan? 
My, how are you gonna let me talk without interrupting me? So stop so, me so me you why you are saying we got me busted and this is not from Allah? If the verse in the front of you is saying, the verse in the front of you is saying, this is a sign from Allah. So beer is from Allah. It's a sign. Black label. Brother and Tata, we have Zebra. We have the brother another um, with us. And by the way, the Muslim they used to drink and they pray. And even the Quran made a verse about it, praising it. And then because the Arab they start laughing at Muhammad, he said to them, Oh Muslims, Allah told me, don't pray when you are drunk. Chapter 4, verse number 43. Oh, who you believe, don't go to the prayer when you are intoxicated because you are drunk. So Zakir Naik, Nader Ahmad, all the potatoes in the world, they used to go to the mosque with the Prophet and they fed a pot around him. And the Arab, they start making fun of Muhammad and his followers. What kind of followers they are? Why Allah did not say from the beginning? And in the top of that, Allah, he praised alcohol and he claimed that alcohol is a sign from him. Why he did that? Because the Arab, they love to drink. You are my... Well, there's no point of giving me the mic if you're going to interrupt me every 10 seconds. I mean, this is an act of cowardice on your I'm, part. I'm you're just answering you. I'm just answering you. You made, you made a statement. You made a statement. You said you got me busted. Yeah. You said you got me busted. The verse doesn't say it's from Allah, so I have to answer. It says in the front yeah. of it's a sign from Allah. So do you agree it's a sign from Allah or not? And there's i have never won a shouting match uh, in my uh, life there's uh, a different listen, listen. I, I want to answer you see shouting man this is not shouting match this is spanking match you are being spanked i, I want you to tell me How does it say does it say in the verse a sign from allah or not it's pointless you're just going to interrupt what's the stop, point of now talking about it? here we go uh, it, took me, it took me five minutes repeating my question to, to make you say that alcohol is bad repeating my question one million times and now you are going to do it again so is it going is it saying there that alcohol is a sign from allah or i'm lying e, okay so let it be clear i'm going to question even though you're jerking me around Abdul, you're interrupting me are you going to answer sign of, of, is it a sign from allah heart. is it a sign from allah or not you see i am not anyone you can play with they are talking to christian prince i hold you from your tail okay. i put you in the corner and it doesn't matter how big the rat is in the front of me still you have no cheese i'm going to repeat my question is it a sign from allah as the verse saying or online no, it does not say it's a sign from Allah. It then said it verse. is a sign. Then read the verse. Okay. Then read the verse. Read the verse. It says the word sign there. The sign is There's a difference. Between... <laughs> Can I respond? <laughs> Why are you so afraid to debate me, Christian Prince? Please keep in mind when you interrupt people you want that's not a debate and that's very okay, really good really, 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 really. in front of everybody in the front of everybody which interpretation you like to put in the screen christian prince I do, turns stop into it lane. it's not everybody laugh at you you want a jalal lane you want a tabari you want a nikati what do you want i will put them for you and okay. they will get you busted you're a potato so i'm asking you for the last time i'm losing my patience you're just a kid is it a sign from christian. allah or a sign from shaitan here it says it's a sign for those who have wisdom for who yes. for the one who have wisdom yes. so the quran saying it clearly <laughs> that those who have wisdom they believe in the sign which is dream drunk <laughs> can i respond i mean can i talk i don't know you could just interrupt me in four yeah, seconds you know, i think I can't nobody, the nobody, nobody you are the best joker ever <laughs> i love you man i love you i love you you know god created a lot of funny things i love i love you for the sake of god because you are the best joker are you going to ask or not okay. You see, how many times I need to repeat my answer when the quran is saying it's a sign it's a sign by who who is the one who's giving the sign can I talk? <laughs> Are you only talk, Christian Prince? <laughs> no, you no, 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 I'm repeating the question, you donkey. Is it a sign from Allah? This the word sign is coming from who? Who is the one who did yes. the sign? Who is the one who did the that text? sign? Go ahead. Okay. Okay, so you're the now please don't interrupt me. The text of the Quran <laughs> it is a sign as that it text did not say it's a sign from allah so the text did not say this okay it's from, oh, who? It's from who it's from who what? guys it's not from allah okay no no finally we got an answer it's it doesn't say it's no, from allah it's from who 
Okay, Christian Prince, you are scared to debate me. It, it's very clear. Coward, don't and hang so, up. And don't don't run. Don't run, coward. I'm asking you. You say it doesn't say it's a sign from Allah. So are you saying that to God? He gave a sign from Shaitan, and he called it wisdom. The text said, "Okay, listen. I'm a." I don't want you to interrupt me again, Christian, because it's an act of cowardice. You're scared to debate me. The issue you are tonight... Answering. You are not with... answering. You are not answering. So is it a sign from Allah or a sign from shaitan? The text doesn't say, but now I'm done with you. I'm now you, I want you... No, 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 you're not done. We, are not, we just started your donkey. Where are you going? What do you mean you're done with me? Okay. Listen, is it a sign from Allah or a sign from shaitan? Prove it to me. <laughs> Whatever you say, you have to bring to me. What interpretation you like us to show to everybody in, the, in, in the listening? Because either you are lying, and this is a sign from Allah, or I am lying, and it's not a sign from Allah. So when we say it's a sign, is it a sign from Allah? You said it doesn't say that, and you said it doesn't, it's, which means it's not. So can you get me busted, Your Majesty, Nader Ahmed, the scholar who have no, you have high school, can you get me busted and show me the interpretation for the verse? Where it says this is not a sign uh, well, from Allah. Where it says this Christian, is not a sign from Allah. Christian friends, mm -hmm. I have to go. I cannot believe you jerking me around. You have to go. Well, mommy is coming. What? You want to change your diaper? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? What happened? No, you are in the corner. You are a potato and you are a coward. You say this. Is, you, you just admitted that oh. Allah is shaitan because the Quran is saying this is a sign for those who have wisdom and you deny that those who follow the wisdom they are following the sign of God you just deny that this is a sign from God by saying it doesn't say that so you are a liar and you are a potato this is the topic you choose and you don't want to answer because it's very embarrassing let us see how many Muslims will, will laugh at you about about and you are the one who says who, are you? who are you who are you you don't know nothing here we go I repeat again don't tell me I have to go mommy mommy she will be upset she will watch this video and she will be upset from you be a man be the hero so it is a sign something from, is it a sign from Allah or it is not I have to go. I want you to come into a public debate with me on the top. <laughs> this is the kid, Nadir Ahmed, who go around and says he want to debate. I need to go. I need to go. The bathroom is waiting, waiting for you. Praise be to Allah. He made a very nice sign. It is alcohol. Get drunk with you. You know, they are trying to find a scientific discovery in the Quran. Brother, the Quran forbid alcohol. Actually, the Quran never said even forbid. It says, Ijtanibu, avoid it. Avoid it, not forbidden. Not forbidden. The word forbidden is not even exist in the verse. Avoid. There's a huge difference between avoid it and it's forbidden. That's number one. Number two, if you want to talk about health, and what make health bad? Have you ever heard of a God says drink camel urine or drink the prophet urine or eating the camel poo poo of Aisha or drinking the blood of Muhammad? Oh, not to forget, eat seven ajwa that will stop black magic and poison. Anyway, <clears throat> and the same happened with the rest. All of them, this is why those who have channels, they avoid coming to me because here they cannot, they don't have much space to play, you know, and they want a moderator. So imagine if we have a moderator. Five minutes, another Ahmed is talking. And now after five minutes, I will take, I will say two words. Can you show me where it says that? And then he will take the mic again, five minutes, and he will not answer my question. And then I will take the mic again. It's my five minutes now, but I have to say only two words. Can you show me what you just said? Give him the mic back. And now, you know, uh, Ahmed, he will speak for another five minutes, doing the same thing, never answer. Do you see why those moderator stuff is just a stupid, and those who do them, they are just doing a stupid act? Literally. You will waste five minutes of rambling person refusing to answer. And the same, 
what the other guy, Perfect Dawa. And by the way, I never heard of this guy, Perfect Dawa, before. But then people, they told me, oh, this guy, he came to uh, to David Wood. And look at his name, Perfect Dawa. You know, when you hear the word Perfect Dawa, you say, what the heck? That's, that's deep. His name is Perfect Dawa, brother. I like, you know, I like those uh, thumbnails. What is that? What happened? Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, I mean, uh, he tried, but he will never try again. You see, the, the problem is, and this is why we don't have really Muslims are coming here because they try us once and then they notice that this was a big mistake. This is why those who have a career they will not call because that would be a career ending. The hadith, hadith can be fabricated. There are lots of fabricated. I just would like to tell you something. Uh, Be before uh, you tell me please. something, my friend, because if your child is born as a Muslim, he lied. Okay. Lied. Let us see the beginning of the call. Hold on. Where is the beginning of the call? Yes. Um, I cannot be born to anything, so... Then he said, you want to call me? You are welcome. Let us call him. I'm just muting the speaker when the ring ring, you know, because the ring is annoying. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. So you are a Muslim? <clears throat> yes, yes. Can you say... I'm a can converted you... Muslim, yes. Ah, you are converted Muslim. You are converted from yes. what? From atheism. What you used to be for a big you are born atheist? Um, I cannot be born. You know, I hear myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, when you hear my question, sometimes like you might get shocked. Like, are you born atheist? <laughs> I really for, feel sorry for them. I mean, I mean, they are so slow. Their IQ is so slow, and I, when I'm talking to them, I'm like, you know, oof, I converted. Um, so, okay, are you born atheist? <laughs> born to anything. So, I was born in a Muslim family, but I became atheist at the age. So of you cannot be born from anything. You say it. I cannot be born to any uh, way of life. I say. Mm. I don't believe that religion is uh, like a form that you can be born to that form. Okay, so you are it's saying it's a way of life. Yeah, but it's but, a belief. Okay, so a, a, a child when he is born, what his religion is? There is no religion. He doesn't oh, okay. have. He has to choose it himself. All right. So your prophet, he made. So a child. So, so, so your your prophet, your prophet, when he said that the child is born as a Muslim, he lied. Okay. I, I haven't seen anywhere that my prophet said that. Okay, let us show you the hadith. The hadith, hadith can be fabricated. There are lots of fabricated. I just would like to tell you something. Uh, before uh, you tell me. Look, right now, you see how fast you want to change topic now? Did you notice? That, did, you, did you notice how, what, how what they do? Uh, I would like to tell you something, you know, because now, oh, uh, my prophet, he said, and a second ago, he said, I never heard my prophet saying that, which means he accept hadith. He just said, I never heard my prophet saying that. Where you can hear your prophet saying that? Only in the hadith. Because the Quran is the word of Allah, supposedly. So do you see how they, how fast they try to change the topic? It's like a lizard. He just saw a danger. And this is why when you speak to them, you need to learn how to grab the lizard from his tail. But tail is not necessarily a good idea because even his tail can be coming off and later he can replace it. So that's why I say, hit the head of the snake.
something, my friend, because if you yes. are saying the hadith is fabricated, that means all of Islam can be fabricated too. No, no, I didn't say all fab hadith are fabricated. Okay, but, are, but now you judge. But now, no, yeah, but now you judge. But now you judge right away before even I show you what I will show you that it is can be fabricated. So you are okay. assuming that anything coming from Islamic books is a fabrication. That's what you just did. No, I, I say that. Mm. I said that any hadith that goes against Quran is fabricated, okay? Okay, well, this is what so, your prophet uh, says, that everyone, every child is born in a fitrah. And what is fitrah? Is religion of Islam. No, it is, uh, uh, I mean, it is not just uh, one word. Islam is, is a whole uh, context. So if you understand it, then you know that you have so to So do, you, do it, you understand you know? Islam yourself? Yes, of course. Otherwise, okay, I go ahead. Explain it. to and me. I would like to, I would, yes, I would like to tell you something that, uh, uh, Christian priest, first of all, you have to learn your own religion before you teach people their religion. Uh -huh. uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, says that love one another, love your neighbor okay. as yourself, yes? Okay. And I don't think that if I, I say to my wife, honey, mm. I love you, but I hate your mom, okay? And, uh, you know, that's not love, that's stupid. Understand? Okay. So when I love my wife, despite my wife loves, loves uh, her mom, I tell her that I love you, but I hate you. I cannot go knock on my Christian neighbor door and say, my Christian neighbor, I love you, but I hate you, Jesus, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I chew his, uh, his um, you know, Bible and say, I hate your Bible. You so are do, you, do, you love, do you love our Jesus who is God? I don't believe that he's God. I'm asking okay? you. I'm, I'm asking you. I'm ask... I respect you. No, 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 no. You, you see, I... okay. Oh, let, mm -hmm. Let's take one by one. You speak about mm -hmm. hate. First of all, we don't hate Muslims. Secondly, no. You. I mean, the way you are talking, yeah, it is not at all love. It is hate. It is you know. Uh, I cannot. Uh, I don't understand. Okay, uh, let, let me how let me make not, it clear for you. How can you not understand? Are you, are you how a person? Can you not understand that this is hate? Are you okay? a, are you a person against hate? I'm definitely against him, okay, 100%. So can you read for me chapter 5, verse 14, and don't waste my time? Uh, because I am on the phone. I so don't care. I you, cannot... can, you can search the verse right now in your phone, you know? Okay, because then, uh, okay, maybe uh, because I have to, I, I tell you, I'm in the phone, then I have to My friend, go to it's, the You bed. are not let's in the phone. You are you. using the phone. You are outside the phone. Yes. Now, okay. can you search your phone? Hmm? Okay, chapter just five, one. verse number 14 in the Quran. And as long you are against hatred, then you should be against yes. the Quran. Because according to your God, the one, if I have hate, and I don't, if I have hate, Allah he gave it to me. Sorry, if you have what? Hate? If I ever have hate, which I don't, to Muslims, yes, Allah is the one who gave it to me. And as long you speak and you say it, you are against hatred. That's mean you should stand yes. with me against the Quran as we speak. Let us see how honest you are. Ch chapter 60, verse 8. My friend, I did not say chapter okay. 60. Relax. Uh, okay. Okay. Hold Wait. your fingers. Okay. Oh, finger number one. Finger number two. Finger number three. Finger number four. Finger number five. Five. Chapter five. Now, I don't know how many fingers you have left. So, and verse number 14. So, you have to use fingers until you use 14. Chapter five, verse number 14. Just a second. Then I have to find it. All right. Chapter 5. Yeah, the chapter of the Maida, the, the table. Mm. Verse 14, you said, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. I will let you see. A few moments later. Okay, so wh what do you want to tell me about this? What, what do you, mean, what you want to tell me? You, you are talking about hatred and you are against hatred. As you see, Allah, he fuel hatred between the Christians. So if the Christians ever have any hatred, it's coming from Allah. So Allah, your God, is the one. He is the source and resource of hatred. He is the main, the, 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 uh, the hatred mind. So okay. you, you are against hatred. Are you against Allah now All spreading right. hatred? No, I'm not against Allah. Uh, you have to understand. Uh, uh, that, so now, uh, so now we okay. have to understand that this is good thing. Spreading hate no. is is good thing now because Allah is but the one who did that. Know, but, okay, let, okay, look at your hypocrisy. Look at a second ago you are against hatred. The second we show you that any hatred the Christian they have is coming from Allah. So suddenly it's we have to understand. Okay, mm -hmm. now can can I talk? Okay, go ahead. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. first of all, yeah. Okay, first of all, mm -hmm. uh, you have to put. Even if Allah says that, okay, mm. you have to 
uh, you don't have, you're not a Muslim, okay, mm -hmm. that you follow, if Allah says that, okay, mm -hmm. you have to follow Jesus, you're following Jesus, first of all, okay, mm -hmm. let's pretend that uh, that verse says that uh, Jesus, uh, sorry, Christians, he has put hate among, uh, what do you, you mean know, pretend? Christian is that, okay. when you say pretend, because it's it me, it's not, not, no, because, it, okay, because it is not like that, okay, okay, explain, because explain the chapter, verse for us, yes, explain, uh, yes, explain the exactly, verse, exactly, yeah, no, yes, first, be, be honest yes. with me first. Be honest with me first. Have you ever seen yes. this verse before ever in your life? Yes, I have seen it. Swear, swear, by, seen swear it. by Allah. Swear by Allah. I swear by Allah that I have okay. seen this so verse. So now you know the explanation of this verse, correct? You know yes, the explanation. Okay. You know the explanation, okay, yes. correct? Okay. Tell me the explanation. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. Mm. Okay. Chapter three, verse seven. Listen. Just two minutes ago, I said to him, "Isn't it in the Quran? It says Allah spread hatred." He said, "Where it says that." Now he's swearing that he saw this verse before. <laughs> and not only that, what chapter, what chapter? Okay, count your, and I have to repeat how many times. And then to the point, I have to say to him, finger number one, finger number two, finger number three, number four, number five. He never heard of it before. And now, yeah, he heard of it many times. Sure, I swear by Allah. A second ago, he need my help to find it. And after repeating many times, chapter 5, verse 14, and then I need to use his fingers to, to show him what 5 mean. And now suddenly, yeah, he saw it before. Yep. Truthful Muslim. Very truthful. And you have to, uh, it tells you how to understand Quran. It says that there are uh, precise verses in Quran and unspecific verses of Quran. So, unspecific uh, specific <laughs> verses of My Quran. Friend, yes? what, well, was, this is a specific, it's about the Christian, the word hatred, we know what it means. So, don't tell me now, no, nobody knows what Allah okay. means. So, you want to play the game okay. now that nobody knows what this verse means? No, no, I didn't say no. Okay, give me the that, meaning. Don't waste my time. I have a lot of Abdul waiting in the line. They want to talk okay. to me. I want you to give okay. me the, the, the meaning of this verse, please. Go ahead. No, I will tell you, but I, I have to tell you that, uh, first of all, you are not following Allah, you are following Jesus. You we cannot, will never you follow Allah. Your, How we will follow you, Allah? No, as exactly, you see, exactly. As you see, as you see okay, Allah, okay. Is Satan, Allah is Satan. Who is the one who spread okay. hatred, my okay. friend? Who is okay. the one who spread <clears throat> hatred between people? Isn't it Shaitan? Okay. Okay, let's say that he's shaitan, okay? Mm. I'm telling you that you have to learn your own religion before you teach me Stop my religion. Stop talking about learning my okay. own religion. Obviously, you do not know yours. Here we go. You do not know what to okay, say. Okay, I don't know my religion. Let's say I don't know my religion. Don't okay? change the topic. I you. challenge okay. you to explain to me what kind of shaitan you are worshipping. Yes. You are the yes. one who claim you are against hatred. Yes. You are the yes. one who yes. call me. You are the okay. one who claim you are against hatred. Yes. I like that. Because I support that. I teach you a little bit Christianity. Huh? I want to teach you that love one another yeah. doesn't mean we Christian, we Christian, yes, we Christian love the Muslims, but, but but not by giving them hugs, but by showing them the truth. So because we love uh -huh. Muslims, okay. we by, show by them that them, this is evil. By them, yeah, by telling them you are stupid. You are, yes, you know, why, not? Why, why not? Why not? Okay, hold on. Are you saying to me, if I say to you, you are stupid, that yeah. is hate? That's that's definitely not love. Okay? okay, hold on. So if you say to your son, you are stupid, you can, that's mean you hate your son? It is not love, definitely. Uh, stop, then, stop playing my, games. It, okay, so yeah. so now if it if, is not okay, love. so if I show you, you if I show you the meaning of love, okay, so you want to if, understand. If, if, the, okay, let us let us let us make it as simple. If I call you a donkey, is that love okay. or hatred? It is. Uh, I mean, this is uh, definitely not love. The, the, is, give me the answer. Is, if, I donkey, course, if I call you donkey, if I call you donkey, my friend, don't tell, is, don't tell me, don't tell me, definitely not love. Tell me what it is. If I call this you, if I, yes, this, this is, is hate. hate. Okay, guys, yes, this definitely. is hate. So if Allah, he used the word donkey, speaking okay. about us, he is hating person. He is he's a person. not ta talking about, uh, you know, he's not talking about, if you, uh, that's why I say, if you read Quran, there are so many ch verses of Quran that talking good about Christian and Jews. Stop okay, being stupid. Book, Stop okay. being a donkey. You see, you are the one yeah, who said to see, me, yeah, if I call uh, you, you a donkey, this is hatred. And yes, Allah, okay. he says that those who carry the book, they don't understand them. They are donkeys. And not only that, he okay. says they All are right. animals. There's a chapter, it's called a chapter of an, an, an am. He says that okay. those... The, those Christians, those Jews, they are the same as Al An'am and, and worse, talking, which means yes. they are the same as animals and they are okay. even worse. What do you say about that? 
Yeah, the, uh, Allah talks about uh, kuffar as well, you know, he says the... What it doesn't matter, I, the, I thought this the, is hatred when you say to people like this, I thought this is hatred. Okay, yeah, Allah says that he he hate the the kuffar, those who oppress other people, okay? No, 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 those who don't believe in Allah. They are the same as an animal, no, the same it, as it, animals. It, it is not that. It is not that at all. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, this okay. Is the, the uh, okay. Let us let us read verse by verse. Okay. Let us read by verse by verse. Let us read. Let us read verse by verse. Open for me, mm -hmm. chapter sixty-two, verse number five. Uh, uh, chapter sixty-two, verse number five. Why you just want to go to those verses? Why you don't go to the verses? Well, you are the one who uh, chose them. You are the one who says, if I call somebody stupid, this is a form of hatred. If I call okay. somebody stupid, you are the one who chose the topic, not me. And I'm showing you, your prophet is calling us, okay. uh, calling us donkeys. <clears throat> calling even, no. even your prophet, he said to the Muslims. He doesn't call he, you donkey. He doesn't call you donkey. Read it. He calls, he calls read. those. Uh, read it. Read it. I tell, okay. Read it. Why, why, let me see. Let me see. Why, the, I told you, chapter 3, verse 7, okay, says that uh, the, uh, the unspecific verses of Quran is known only by Allah and those firm in knowledge. How those firm in knowledge understand the meaning of them, they put Abdul, it with, beside Abdul, other verses. Abdul, okay? Abdul, stop being I'm stupid. Stop, stop being stupid. Stop I'm being, stop being stupid. I don't respect liars. You, just, you are just now making any verse in the Quran. Nobody knows what it's me, save Allah. I didn't say, look, I So tell I you keep that. asking you, you keep saying to me, Allah, he says, uh, you know, the, there is verses in the Quran, nobody knows what mean. Every verse until now, I quote for you, I you say nobody knows you. what they mean. I didn't say nobody knows. Okay, I then give me the Allah meaning. Knows. Why Allah, I, I why Allah, Allah calling, why Allah know. calling people donkeys? Hello? Why Allah calling people Hello? donkeys? You can hear me, don't lie. Hello? You can hear me, don't lie. Hello? What happened? Are you there? I hear your mic moving. Okay, now now I hear you. Yeah, okay, okay. So now go ahead. Why those people are equal to donkeys? I tell you that it's not all Christian or Jews. My friend, even, don't tell me uh, all. Don't tell me some. Doesn't matter. If I call yes. you, yes. you, say, you yes. said, yes. you said, if yes. I call you stupid, this is a form of hatred. Allah calling yes. all the Jews, all the Jews, no, all the no, Jews. Read, 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 read. It says, <laughs> the, those who they are okay. charge of the Torah, who are they? The Jews. They are the same as donkeys. Read it. Okay, I will read for you. Yeah, just a moment. Uh, you're a good boy. Just a second. Uh -huh. I have to find it. It says that, <clears throat> and do not argue with the people of the uh, scripture except in a way that is what are you reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? In, in Abdul, what are you, what are you reading, Abdul? Chapter 62. I, I'm reading. No, uh, no. Uh, this is chapter 62. Chapter 62. Yes, chapter not, 62. Okay. Yes, and by the way, the we, we will quote the verse you just gave me because this will show yeah, contradiction. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. You just take one verse like ISIS, okay, okay. and say, look. Okay, okay. Is, okay. Give, me, give me the verse ISIS. you gave me. Okay. okay, give me give me the verse you gave me. Just give me the verse okay. you gave me. Oh. The verse is 2946. Okay. And read it for us. And do not argue with the people of this creature, except in a way that is best, except for those who commit injustice among them and say, we believe in the which is, has uh, sorry, in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you. Mm. And our God and your God is one. And we are Muslim uh, submitted to him. Chapter 2, verse 62. Those who believe and okay. those who are Jews okay, and now, Christians. After, and after we show you the what verse, the after, we show, in Allah. after we show you the verse, you will regret and you will say, I don't want this verse no more. So do you, do you, do you accept that you will accept this verse? Which verse? The verse you quote verse for me. I, yes, I accept the verse. Exactly. Okay. So Allah, he says to you, don't argue with them except in, an, in a nice way, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. Exactly. So... When the Quran says Allah will spread hatred between the Christians, and Allah said that the Christians and Jews are worse than animals, and Quran okay. says that Jews are like donkeys. Who is okay. left 
to argue with them in a nice way. Okay. <clears throat> That's why you, I told you that you have to... <clears throat> <laughs> so listen, the Muhammadan now he thought he got finally a way to escape. So, <coughs> so he, he thought now, oh, this is a verse we can use now. Okay, we are reading it, we are done. Christian Prince, he forgot about the previous verses. This is a good verse. Do you see how stupid they are? Who is left? Who's left? A question no Muslim will ever expect. In the spot. Who's left? If Allah spread hatred between the Christians and now we talk to them, Nicely, but they are donkeys and monkeys, and we will punish them. But speak to them friendly. But who's left? And now, what he will say, he will start coughing, trying to find a solution to put it beside other verses, okay? Mm. That's no. why I'm trying we to have read to for put you. It. We have, other we verses have to... that it doesn't, it says that not all of them are the same. Okay, Quran so no problem. Okay, my friend, my same. friend. Okay, yes. guys, not all of them are the same. Not all of them are the same. Exactly. Okay, so why the Quran says the Jews, the Christian, he doesn't say some of the Christian. He did not say some of the Jews. He said the Jews. Yes. Okay, so that's why I say that you have to put it beside other verses, then you understand that it is okay. not about did all your Jews prophet, and Christians. Did your prophet order yeah. to kill all the Jews and all the Christians or some absolutely of the Jews? Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Okay, read for, read for me, read for me chapter uh, 9, verse number 29. Chapter 9, verse 29. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I, I have read actually, yes, that, that uh, verse. So I, I say again, you have to put it beside other verses of Quran. We put it, we put, we put it beside. We put it beside. We put it beside. We put it beside. Give me the yes, answer. Give me, me the answer, my friend. Yeah. We put it beside. Huh. You're, you're a prophet. Yes. He ordered to kill all the Christians, all the Jews. No, it's not all. No, never. Okay. Allah says that you only make, fight those want, who fight you. Okay. Those who fight you and fight as long as they fight. Okay, okay? hold on. That's why read, I read the verse where it says those who read. Read the verse. Read the verse where it says those who. I read you. the verse. I have read the verse. Okay. okay? I say that, that, that that's an unspecific verse that you have to be, put it beside other verses. Otherwise, you are ISIS, you are Taliban. You say that, yes, this okay. verse, you take one verse. Okay, let me ask you. you. Let, let me yes, ask you. you. Did, your prophet, you did your prophet kick all the Christian and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula? All of them? No, he didn't do that. Okay, no. let us see. Okay. Hmm. Read with me. Yeah. And I apologize yes. like a puppy for being a puppy yeah. coward. Liar, okay. read it. Yes. Here we go. Read what? This is read your what? prophet saying, if I was victorious, I will kick all the Christians and the Jews well, from the says, Arabian Peninsula. It's in the yeah, front it of a, it's in the front of your eyes. It's in the front of your eyes. I say that I'm, I'm in the front. It's a hadith, yeah. So what if it's a hadith? What your prophet say? <laughs> Okay, I told you that a hadith that goes against Quran shut up. Is this is not against the Quran. The okay. prophet he <laughs> says, the prophet is it the prophet he said the Quran says the uh, the najis, those who they are Christian, Jews, and others, they are najis, they are not allowed to enter Mecca, they are not allowed to enter the Medina. The, just Mecca, they are not allowed to uh, enter you Mecca. Are a liar. That's, that's we are not allowed to enter any of what is considered the Holy Land. Now read the Hadith. No, no, this is not read, the Holy read Land. The hadith. It's, it's, read the Hadith. Read the Hadith. Are you saying your prophet right. here? You don't understand Islam, and you understand Islam? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, there are lots of fabricated Hadiths. That, well, this uh, is not fabricated. Know, the only fabricated is you. Uh, here we go. This is your okay. prophet. It, right. it says Sahih. They, they say yes, of course they say. Oh, uh, so you must them, so you must them you lie. So you must them you are no. a bunch of liars. You they, say it yeah, is authentic. Yeah, yeah. In the books you say it's authentic. When you speak to Christian, you say it's not authentic to cover as the prophet. I tell you that there are uh, hadiths that says that the verse of Quran is missing, and they put okay. it as. Okay. Uh, let me ask you. Let, let, okay, in front of, of everybody. In of front course. of everybody. In front of everybody. Yes. Chapter yes. nine, verse number twenty-nine. If we read interpretation for the verse by any scholar of your choice, do you agree? Okay. 
No, I, I, my, my scholars that I follow, they, they do, do not agree with uh, your interpretation. Okay, give this, me, no, not my, I don't have interpretation. You give me interpretation. Can you give me a scholar you agree with? De definitely, I have, I can give you. His okay. name is Masud, Masud Rajavi. Who? Okay. Masud Rajavi, you don't know just are you, because you are don't you, know are you, him. Are you a Shia? No, I'm not a Shia. I, I converted to Islam. I didn't convert to a... You are uh, a Muslim by, by birth. I can tell it from your accent. Stop playing. Okay, his name is Mas'ud what? Rajawi? Yes, yes. Okay, Tafsir al-Quran, I will open it. Is it online? No, the, he, it is not online. No. Okay, how we can read it? Give me, give me a book we can read. We can put it in the screen. But I don't have it online. I tell you that. Give me yeah. any book. Oh, this is the only book you are, you uh, know... Give me, give me a book of a scholar you agree with. We can put it in the screen. I, I don't know. I haven't checked them, uh, all the scholars, okay? What but do you mean not? So you the... only know only this Mas'ud Rajawi? Who is this guy? He, no, that, they're not only. Not this only, this, guy, this guy is, a, is a from Iran. And okay, he yes. is, and you are a liar, Mas'ud Rajawi, he is the leader yes. of Mujahidi Khalq al Iraniya. Yes, I just searched exactly, his name. Exactly, yes, yes, yes. I know, yes. Okay, so okay, this guy so, is a criminal too. He is a killer. Why he's a killer? Well, he is Do the you know leader. Him? He is the leader of the Mujahideen in Iran. Yes. Okay. Okay. And he killed Muslims. And what? He kills Muslims. Yeah, and like he's a Shia. Ah, uh, okay. F first of all, uh, my brother. See, he lied. He said he is not Shia. He's not Shia, but the scholar he follow is a terrorist, and. He is a leader of Mujahideen, and uh, this is the you know the tafsir he agree with. <laughs> I mean, if we play it all, I mean, this, the video is very long. You can watch it. You know, this is like it's it's called, it's called the Christian print destroyed perfect dawa. I mean, this is how they are, my friend. They are like you are, you are talking to sneaky snake. This is why you have to have a lot of patience, and you, we don't debate them. You cannot debate a liar. It's impossible to debate a liar. The only thing you can do is to get them busted. We don't debate them. We bust them. We don't. Nobody can debate a liar because a liar he give you any answer, any anything. So now all the hadith, any hadith I show him, oh, this is a fabricated, but he said he agree with hadith. So which one he agree with? The one that says how to make hummus? Oh, anything is against the Quran, but the Quran says kill them. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Do we have any Muhammad and he think he can do better than those people? May they, may they. And then if you watch the end, you will die laughing. I mean, this is just a start. This guy, he left. He will never come back here. I assure you. This is just the start. If you watch it to the end, you will see what happened to this guy. But I, wanna, I don't want to play it all because it's one hour and 29 minutes. He was literally, and his God, and his prophet demolished to the basement. I left no rocks. Hatred, hatred, you are teaching hatred. Look who is talking about hatred, a Muhammadan. And then, uh, okay, yeah, it says he was spread hatred, but you have to understand, and now we, now we have to understand that hatred is okay. A second ago, this is evil. Now we can. You have to understand. About the shake recently, which shake? I don't know. Do we have any Muhammadan? And look at the Muhammadan in the chat. They are all of them. They are heroes. Christian Prince is lying to you. Why you don't call me and get me busted about something I just said and it's a lie? Huh?
Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? By the way, I'm not worried about if I am say, making sin Muslims now, because all what I need, I say, Alhamdulillah, 100 times, brother, and my sin is forgiven. Look how easy, look, 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 look how easy. It's easier than taking a pill to have a diarrhea. Like you drink the pill, do you see how easy this is? You go, you molest the children. Actually, this is not a sin in Islam, you know, as you know. And then you kill your rape, you do, you know. And then, brother, uh, okay, you go and uh, uh, you say, Alhamdulillah, 100 times. Okay, whoever recite this 100 times in the morning and in the evening will not be suppressed on the day of resurrection. Look, look, look how simple. Look, 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 look. And you have to say it in Arabic, brother. I mean, even if you are a Zakarna, I could not speak Arabic. Let him pray. But of all, I speak Arabic. Okay, speak to me in Arabic. Okay, today I don't feel like speaking Arabic. Like, what the heck? You said you speak Arabic. Great and Prince, I am very moody, good friend. You are what? I'm very moody. What, what do you mean? I'm very moody. I speak Arabic when I want. Sometimes I don't feel like I would speak Arabic. First of all, Zakir Naik, you are not moody and you've been chased by Moody. Moody is the Prime Minister of India. And he have a request to your arrest. Great and Prince, first of all, I am different kind of moody. I don't care if you are different kind of Moody or the same Moody. What kind of religion says if you say Bismillah and the Ilah and the but 100 times your sin is going to be erased? Get the breath. First of all, the Prophet of Allah is teaching us how to fight sin. Oh, you fight sin by doing sin all day and then before you sleep you say Alhamdulillah 100 times and that's it? Exactly. What's wrong with you? What exactly? You fight sin by not doing sin, not by saying at the end of the day, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, 100 times. But the work Christian breath, you don't speak Arabic. And you did not say it correctly. And I haven't recorded. What do you mean you haven't recorded? Are you recording me? Exactly. Zakir Naik, please don't pause this video around. Christian breath, first of all, this video is going to be blood in my brain and all. What? But the video is going to be blood in my brain What the heck is that? You know, it sounds like Quran. Exactly. This is your religion. Say what in Arabic? Astaghfirullah wa a'udhu billah. What the heck? Wa atubu lillah. One hundred times in the morning. Look how short, look how short. Look how easy it is. In the morning, you say this sentence. You wake up. <laughs> okay. Astaghfirullah wa a'udhu billah. So like in the morning, you don't say, hello, honey, how are you doing? You know, your, your wife, she said, you want to drink coffee? No, you're busy. You sound like a, you know, like a, like a kukuruku, Mickey Mouse, you know. One hundred times. And then before you sleep, you're the same. And then that's it. Your sin is gone. Remember, you have to say it in Arabic. Because Allah is an Arab boy. He don't understand your language. So don't tell me that you are the uncle of Tom and Jerry, this guy, he came from Mexico. No, 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 no. Lambo. What the heck? You have to say it in Arabic. If you are the uncle of Jerry coming from Mexico, I'm sorry. You have to say it in Arabic. Otherwise, your sin is there. You have to use the Arabic shampoo, brother. This is religion. Look how easy it is. This why there's no sin in Islam. It's just, it's just a you know it's an evil, evil satanic cult. Want you to commit sin and make it easy to feel not guilty. Cause just say this one hundred times. Even there is a hadith says, even if your sin is the same as the foam of the ocean. Actually, it's in front of you. One hundred time. 
a day. His sin will be liberated even if they are equal to the extent of the foam of the ocean. See how easy it is? So easy. Satanic. Pure satanic. Who is going? Who is who is going to have a benefit from such a statement except Satan? That you go, you rape, you kill, you steal, and then at the end of the day, you say this sentence, even if it's your sin, is the same as the ocean foam. It's gone. Only Satan he will encourage such a, such a thing. You see, this is why you see filthy people, they enjoy Islam. In Christianity, you don't enjoy such a thing. Because the devil is not there. With Jesus, life is different. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, doesn't matter how many times you say it, a hundred times, two hundred times, three thousand times, it doesn't matter. You wear a cross, you don't wear a cross, who care? You give donation, you don't give donation, that will not bribe God. In this time, even you can bribe God. The first one, Muhammad, he promised him heaven just because he gave donation. Bribe. Money. Sex. Lost. Like you see, all of us, we do sin. All of us. Nobody can claim that he is the good guy. And the Bible says, only God is good. That is Jesus. When a person, he said to Jesus, you are good. So Jesus says, why are you calling me good? Don't you know that only God is good? And then Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. Who of you can accuse me of sin? Muhammad is a person swimming with sin. Not to forget that Muhammad even he swim with poo, poo literally. And the funny, the Muslim, they say we do abolition. How Muhammad do abolition? You know, when I was like a kid, trying to understand this madness religion, each time I go through, you know, through something, first time you see it, you get, you get shocked. I mean, why in the world the person, he's a prophet of God, he jump in a little, little, little jacuzzi, have dead uh, uh, dogs, and women blood from period, and garbage. Why he want to do that? And what is the purpose of doing that? Is to cleanse himself, to be ready for God. Uh, hold on, a Muslim prince, he said something very important. Uh, thank you, Muslim prince. Uh, why, oh guys, why you, why you, why you, uh, okay, hold on. Let us see if I can show. I was going to copy his text, and Andrew, he just deleted his text. Okay, let me copy it. Take it easy, Andrew, take it easy. Look what this Abdul, he said, just to show you how easy to destroy Islam. And how easy they are getting upset. So we are showing them their prophet is taking shower with dead dogs and one plot from period, period, and the stinky garbage. And this is their own books. And then he says, "Your God was killed by a group of bandit, my friend. The group of bandit, according to the hadith, your prophet been ridden. They rode your prophet a bunch of black guys, and we showed the hadith. Call me, and I will make you read it. And you just said, my God was killed by a bunch of." Band did. Hmm. So, if this is not a true, that's mean you are lying. And if this is a true, that's mean my God is not God. Correct? Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, but we cannot find anywhere it says what you are saying. But I will go with you. If Jesus is the Son of God and He is divine, then how anybody can kill Him? Hmm. Yeah. So you know what? 
Now I understand why in Islam Jesus nobody can kill him because he is God in Islam, not in Christianity, maybe. I'm using your logic. I will use your method that the one who can be killed by a bunch of bandit cannot be from God. You're a prophet, he was killed by a Jewish woman. She got a poison from Walmart. And your prophet, he died a miserable death by poison. How Jesus died according to Islam, he never died. So look what happened now. If you die, you are not what you claim. Especially if you get killed. A horrible death. Muhammad, he died by poison, which is very cheap. She got it from Walmart. You know, I mean, you know, she's a Jew. She will not spend too much money to kill Muhammad. So she went to the shelf in Walmart. She looked for the cheapest rat poison. She gave it to Muhammad with the food. And now we ask the Muslims, and I challenge any Muslim to call me to tell me, how come Allah, he saved Jesus, which means must be the son of God, because he saved him because he's the son of God. Otherwise, you tell me why he saved him. And why Allah did not save Muhammad? Who want to answer this? You see, Muslim prince, he just has put his prophet in the... Oh, I have a solution for this. Maybe because Muhammad was so dirty, taking shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period and stinky garbage. So he said to himself, Allah, oh, I'm not going to bring Muhammad to my home. I mean, do you know how he stink? Is it, this is your prophet saying that? That he take a shower... He's ready to meet Allah now. If I'm Allah, I will never let him get in. And this is explain why the Muslim, they say that Muhammad never met Allah, never spoke to Allah, never heard Allah. So now are you going to answer me, Mr. Muslim Prince, or not? Do you think, guys, the Muslim have an answer? Why Allah, he did not save Muhammad from being dying by poison, horrible death. But he decided to save Jesus. Is that because Jesus is a son of God? Just a question. Who want to answer it? This is exactly what once an Egyptian person, he said to me. He said, the, you know, they hate to see an Arab Christian. They hate it. But they are at the same time, they are coward. They don't dare to say in the ill face. So uh, one of them, he said, uh, so I, I have a question. I have a question. Don't I said, okay, sure, sure. You know, don't you think that Jesus, if he is a son of God, his father will save him? I said, okay, that's a good question. So you are saying if Jesus is son of God, his father will save him, right? He said, exactly. I said, well, isn't this is what happened in Islam? That means Jesus is son of God in Islam. And the other guy, he said to him, see, I told you, don't go there. I know this guy. So the Muhammadan, they try to put Jesus down, and that is telling you that Islam and Muhammadan are antichrist. This is why when you see a priest in a church, he is the priest of the devil, he says to you that Muslims and us, we worship the same God. We don't. Period. Isn't it the Bible says the one who denied the son and denied the father is an antichrist? So how a priest, he say to you, the Muslim, they worship the same God. They don't accept to call God Father. Their God has a different name. And the Bible says clearly, a false prophet is the one who prophesies in the name of other God. Which God? The name of which mentioned in the Bible, which is not really a name, but certain words. So Muhammad prophesying falsely, which the Bible says, how you know false prophet? false prophecy number two he prophesied in the name of a false god and Muhammad had them both and the Bible confirmed to us that the one who denied the father and he denied the son he is an antichrist so when you see any priest in the world he says to you that the Muslims and the Christian believe in the same guide he is he's either one of two things either he is certified ignorant idiot as and we have many of them you know they wear uniform and they call themselves priests just to get money, the same as Muhammad. It's a business. But they did not read the Bible. 
The Bible is so clear about it. Very clear. Or they are just hypocrite liars, as many in this earth. They don't dare to say the truth. They call them these days politically correct. And I'm sure all of you, you see them around you. And then the Muslim, they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God. When the whole Bible is saying clearly, Jesus says, I am the living God. Jesus told them before Abraham, I am. Jesus said to them, what do you say about Christ? They said, he is the son of David. Jesus said, well, if he is a son of David, then how David call him God in spirit? And yet you will find every single Abdul says to you, I challenge you, show me one verse in the Bible, Jesus says, I'm God, will serve me. Liars. And by the way, we don't worship Jesus because he said, I'm God. No, I can say that too. You can say that. Talk is cheap. We worship Jesus for he did what no one can do as God, not as a man. Man is a sinner. Man is a liar. Man is a cheater. Man, he changed. God never changed. Change in which way? In which way? You are born as a child, innocent. Then you change, you become evil, and you do sin, and you think bad, and you do bad, and then we struggle. Some of us repent, some of us we, we don't, but this is how we change. God never changed. Jesus is the only one. No grave can hold him. No sin can take him. And no guilt can make him cry. But he cry for you because he loves you. Jesus is the only one who no one can take him to death. He said, I lay down myself. Nobody can take it. He said, you can destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. Jesus is the only one even Muslims, the Christians, the Jews, they are waiting for the Christ to come. He's the only one. He is the living Messiah. Muhammad now is decomposed. Literally decomposed. We have the Messiah, the living Word of God. Muslims, Christians, Jews, waiting for one person. Nobody waiting for Muhammad. Who is your prophet? He is mentally ill. Look at him. Jumping in water have dead dogs. And then the Muslim, they claim that Islam teaching you how to be clean. Well, I saw you in the Middle East. I'm coming from there. Number one nations in the world who piss in the street is you. And why? Because the prophet, he piss in the street. Your best example, he ends up, he grabbed his private part in the street. <laughs> this is your best man. There's a story of a man. He walked by Muhammad. And Obviously, he is not really saying "Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad." He is like saying, saying to him, "We saw you, you know. You are just literally, you know, um, dirty man." So Muhammad is, you know, he grabbed his private part in the street, women, kids, people in the street, and he is pissing. So the man he said to him, "Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad."
and Muhammad did not answer because he knew that this is this guy is you know he's making a statement he's not he's not saying assalamu alaikum and if a Muslim want to say to us that Muhammad was not in the street oh I think Muhammad he was uh, in the bathroom and people they go inside the bathroom one after one and they shake hands in the bathroom but as you see, even the hadith, we can show, show a different hadith, says, he was walking and then he found a wall on the street. What he found? A wall in the street. He unzip and he pissed on the wall. It's in the front of you. And if this is not in the street, by the way, that will be even horrible. If this is his bedroom, that will be more funny. A man walking in the street or in his bedroom and saying to him, Assalamu Alaikum. And then when the Prophet, he finished, he don't use towel, he don't wash his hands. He dry his hands with the wool. And he dry his hand, he wipe his face. What? Would he, would he wipe his face? He just hold his penis. And now what he's doing, and this is Sahih, by the way. Muslim cannot say this is weak and, you know. The Prophet, he wiped his hands on the wall after he pissed. What was there? That is Muhammad. Your best Prophet. I hope that they will not invite him to any museum in Europe. I hope so. Because otherwise, Bika So is going to become Bika P. In fact, in countries, many Islamic countries, in order to fight pissing on the wall, but this work only for in countries where you don't speak Arabic. As an example, in Bangladesh, they write Arabic words to stop camera, sorry, uh, uh, men urine on their walls. Can you believe it? Because the Muslim, they follow the steps of Muhammad. Bangladesh uses Arabic to stop public urinating or urination. Halal sex. Shop owner denies opening a store of Mecca. Haram in Mecca. We can open it everywhere. <laughs> Things is getting interesting. <laughs> Halal sex store. <laughs> no, no, no. I did not open a store in Mecca. I opened a store everywhere. Not in Mecca. Hello? Haram. Haram in Mecca. Halal in Medina. Hmm? Sound like San Francisco. <laughs> All right, guys, as you see, we don't have customers today. Uh, maybe some other day we can get, you know, do better. Did we have a good time? Don't forget to subscribe and then unsubscribe because Allah will double your reward. Let me explain. If you subscribe, this is a bad deed. But when you unsubscribe, 
That is a good deed. And then Allah will double your deed. So look what you do. You spend the day clicking subscribe and subscribe. You know, like you, you lose one, you win two. You lose one, you lose. So unbelievable. Smart God. Smart God, brother. This is how we can fight bad deed, brother. Subscribe and subscribe. You lose one, you gain two. At the end of the day, imagine how much Allah will increase your deed, especially now you unsubscribe from Christian Prince. When you subscribe, you win, you lose one deed. You unsubscribe, you get two deeds. So two minus one, I won one. I wish I can do that in the stock market. All day, I buy the same stock, sell the same stock, buy the same stock, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of stocking. Amar Rabbi Amar. That is the most intelligent religion. And the God of it, it's called Rahman. And I hope you guys, you will find me some Muslims who call themselves sheikhs, like Shakespeare. You know, by the way, like when you uh, when you grow up in the Middle East, I mean, you hear things is really incredible. Like Al Qazafi, he said that Shakespeare is an Arab, and you know, like nobody he says to him, "What? What are you talking about, Mister President?" Because who there? They, he will cut his head. You know, that's it. His name is Shakespeare. Is an Arab. His real name is Sheikh Isbur. What's wrong with you? I mean, isn't it obvious? Sheikh Spear, Shakespeare, Sheikh Isbur. Al Kazafi making a speech. He says that the, 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 those uh, European, they took even democracy from us. Look who's talking about democracy, a dictator, he'll kill everybody. They took democracy from us. This is coming from the Arabic language, democracy. What the heck? Democracy. What democracy? Which means bring the chairs. The heck? Democracy is coming from the Arab. I love being Arab. It turned to be that democracy coming from us. Democracy. You know? Yeah, true story. True story. We discover everything. We are the one discovered that uh, uh, you can jump in the water, have dead dogs and women blood from period, and nothing can make the, you know, the, <coughs> uh, the water impure, you know? I mean, who can discover that except, uh, you know, yeah, true story. Mm. Anyway, prophet knows best, and who can argue with that? You argue, you lose your head. Democracy is coming from us. And by the way, for those who make videos on YouTube that they went to Egypt and they love it, I wonder why people of Egypt, they love to leave. You know, you see those white boys, they go to uh, Middle East. Brothers, man, amazing. Egypt is amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just take the bus. <laughs> they will even take your wallet. Anyway, if not your pants. So don't listen to those idiots who say things which is not a true. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And if you don't believe me, go check the fruits of Islamic countries. Zero human rights. You say a statement, you, your family disappear. A president, a king, he stay there forever. That's it. He take the chair. Nobody can take him out because they have everything right there. The judge, the police, the you know, everybody is corrupt to the bone. But everybody on Friday, he they dress white and they pray to Allah. Everybody. And the satellite dish is facing the porn station. And that's why Andrew Tate, he love Allah. They match. 
the image. From their fruits you shall know them. Thank you very much for being here. And this is your brother Christian Prince was serving you humbly for today and every day. And I hope you guys you can download your videos. My videos they are for free for everybody. I don't want you just to sit here. I want you to do something. And you never know. Maybe just by posting a video somewhere, you can bring someone to Christ. And you will get the blessing. The Lord one day will ask you, how you spend your time, what you did to me. You know the story in the Bible, right? About the three servants. The one who hired the gift that God gave him, he did nothing with it. Don't do that. God gave you a gift. Each one of us have a gift. Find it. Use it. For others, before yourself. Save somebody. Stand for the truth. Don't be a potato. A potato have no shape. Be Christian. Either you are hot or cold, as the Lord said, so I can swallow you. Nobody enjoy so-so water. Yuck. Don't be so-so. Never be so-so. A true Christian is never so-so. A true Christian, he say it as it is. He stand for his belief. Not a coward and not a hypocrite. We are sinners, yes. We fight our sin, yes. We don't encourage our sin, yes. At the end of the day, your fruits will give definition of who you are, not your names. From their fruits, you shall know them. Let us show the fruits to the Lord, and the Lord, He will enjoy our good fruits. For all of us, we are delicious fruits in His table. And He is our Lord, the Messiah, the Savior. He said, I am the life. I am the truth. I am the beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am God's Son. That is the Messiah. And we cannot wait to see him again. Death for the pagans is a disaster. Death for us is a joy. The Lord, he said, whoever believe in me and die, he will live. We are going to be in the presence of the Messiah, the living God. In a heaven, have no guilt, no sin no criminals, no filth, not the heaven of Muhammad, which is nothing but a pimp house. Holy is he, and holy is his promise, and holy he is, always. The gift is telling you what is the nature of the person, and you will notice right away that the gift of Jesus have nothing to do with the gift of the Muhammadans or the gift of Muhammad, which is all about sex and food and gold and silver. In fact, all of those things is what take us down to hell. Jesus' gift is high, is noble, is above material. So follow the Holy God, the living Messiah, only foolish ones, they will follow a dead man, his name is Muhammad. And as we speak, he composed. And you know what composed mean. Don't follow the composed man. He's dead. And the Lord, he said, let the dead bury the dead. And you Christians, are not going to be dead. They are. They are just following the dead. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care.